Dream hell. What do you eat? Are those Dalmades? I said I put stacks dreaming. It's like a Dalmade. Sort of, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. What is the Dalmade? Stuff with grape leaves. Mm. I like that. Magic? Television. Magic. Oh, actually, like too. Television, too. Did you watch the Russian doll show? Do you want to sit here? Do you want to sit here? Since you know OBS. I know, I didn't know if I could put them on the It's kind of great. I think it's hurting. It's like, it was like... That woman is adorable. Yeah, I don't love it. I think it's food best. I want your own So you don't want a tea light? I'm into talk shows right now. Have you? No. Fuck, was she on Conan? O'Brien on TBS. Oh, that Conan. She tried to start a Netflix orgy amongst, like... Some people from Super 8 and some people from some other shows. And stuff. Oh man, I was Who watching her on, on talk shows today like, too. An orgy of sex? Uh, yes, an orgy of sex. What's her name? From Russian Doll? What's her name? Oh, uh, not, 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 not. You know, somebody I trust on Twitter said that she was awful. I'm mixing up names in my head. I don't think it is who I think it is. I will, I've not, have I heard any Her and her character's said. name are remarkably similar. I, 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 I wouldn't know it. Either. She's cool. I, I like her, her vibe. <laughs> I liked the show. I thought it was cute. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Okay. Yeah. Kenny just texted me. I'm thinking about starting a poop punk band. That That's sounds like idea. something punk. Kenny would do. Did yeah. Did yeah. <laughs> Kenny love it? He liked it. Yeah. He did like it. Did it upset you guys? It upset. <laughs> I mean, it's. I'm upset. I'm always. Upset. <laughs> so it made you feel yeah, like I don't feel go. I didn't feel any more upset than I already feel. I help you be more you. If that's possible. <laughs> I think everything might do that. Could uh I mean could you shift a little bit more towards Connor and maybe you go a little that way too? So yeah, this this shaping up to be the most watchable episode yet. <laughs> Dude, thanks. It looks like we're in a haunted house. Yeah, right. Are we, I don't yeah, we streaming? Yeah, we're streaming. We're streaming this part. It's Hello beautiful. and welcome <laughs> to episode what seven? Come on, six, six or seven of the Wolf Pack. Five. 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 This is episode five. <laughs> is it really five? only five? No, it's got to be. No way. It's got to be six or seven. There's three on YouTube, and then last time no, we didn't gotta be put one up. There's no way this is. Uh, there's a leave what more. number of episode this is in the comments <laughs> and like and subscribe. <laughs> and subscribe. Be sure to share with all of but your other with all you of your other, <laughs> with your wolf pack. You can click on <laughs> other <laughs> videos here. We should franchise this. I mean, like, hopefully this will be the first episode that Madison does commentary. Nick on. Nick Vasovsky's, uh dad is reading. I know. Oh yeah, it's I talked so to you. <laughs> he texted me about that, and he said, "I think it's something like I think it's it's the first time it, that I can remember being truly excited for him about something." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Something like that. That is funny. Uh, hey, his parents uh, kept saying that they liked this theater because we had good chairs. Yeah. I know. yeah, his mom was really fixated on the chairs. They're yeah, they, yeah, they said it. They were very comfortable. You know, we we have this theater in Brooklyn, and it's very good. But your guys' chairs are better. They are very nice. Yeah. She also kept saying that the um, that Baltimore. She loves Baltimore because it reminds her of the East Village in the eighties. <laughs> She's like stuff's going like, on. Here. I get it. She's I like, get you it. guys got. She was like, you guys got stuff going on. <laughs> She's not such a not true. She's such a wacky lady. Not not true. Factual she reminds me of so many people in my family. <laughs> she reminds me of so many people. Because I'm from the people. South. Ah, uh, yeah. Is she from the South? Yeah. I mean, they're Nick they Griffin Green. She reminds me of my friend's mom. South Carolina. I mean, I guess she is my friend's mom. <laughs> but, like, my friend's mom's from when I lived in Alabama. It's kind of both, depending. Um, it's kind of something. Yeah. The Republican Texas. Texas. Gene Wolfe. From Texas. We don't. Oh. You can smoke cigarettes. Yeah. I mean, my dad would be disappointed. Like my dad. <laughs> yeah, that's my dad. We're just sharing out cigarettes. Gene Wolf's your dad. <laughs> so you just said. Uh, I, Gene Wolf is so alive. I found something there. Huh? So Gene Wolf is so alive. Yeah, barely. 
<laughs> oh, Jordan has something <laughs> to say about, about the book? book. Um, what? <laughs> so, something I want to do with this read through uh -huh. is like, so has anybody ever seen that anyone has like taken a tally of like when he takes the claw out and when it lights up and when it doesn't light up or like? Oh. No. I want to yeah. keep track of when he takes it out and if it yeah, lights like, up or like, not. Yeah, like when it works for him and when does it yeah. fail. Yeah. I'm yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. I feel like it fails more later on. Mm -hmm. It seems yeah. Well, it seems like all of it, like early on, it's pretty much always like, he does something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, if he's in like a moment where something really needs to happen, it does something really weird in uh, today's selection. Uh, where like I, I feel like the only thing it does is bring things back to life, or at least twist time in some way. But in this selection, it turns water to wine. What the fuck? Oh. Um, what is that? How does that happen? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Maybe the maybe the water's that maybe the water's not water. It's got like sugars in it or something, and it like ferments. Maybe it like speeds up time. What? Something Do we know that was never wine. I think so. Okay, yeah. I didn't know that it was water before. I, I, from from my reading, I don't know why. I, I don't understand. From my where reading. is that? What what chapter is that? It's very on. It's like the right first, when they wake maybe? up in Saltus. 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 Yeah. As soon as I discovered the night before, our water ewer held wine. Yeah. They used some to rinse my mouth, and its astringency made it better. Made it better than water. But I still wonder water is flushing my face. Because then he, that's mentions, it. he <laughs> mentions later that the wine was, was better the day before. Yeah, the, the wine they gave him when they had breakfast isn't as good. And I mean, this is, is it but just a weird, that. clunky reference to the wedding at Cana? I feel like shoehorned in. That doesn't seem like. I don't know that it's clunky. I feel like there's a like a complex of powers that Jesus has that Severian also has. To or the conciliator has to have. I feel like there might, like, I think Gene Wolfe maybe thinks there's a lurking variable in the different powers ascribed to Jesus. That, like, resurrection and water to wine are... What other powers of Jesus does, does Severian display besides resurrection, though? I mean, he resurrects, but he also heals people. I feel like those are two different things. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't. I feel like there, there are, like... You know, I don't know very much about Jesus or, you know. Pretty cool. We gotta get hit to the JC. But I feel like there's like a couple of stories that like everyone knows that uh -huh. are like the water into wine thing. Right, the crucifixion healing, thing. Healing. The whole thing. <laughs> that whole thing. That <laughs> deal. Um, the like, Christ part. The like, loaves and fishes. At the, in the like temple or Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that that part people don't, don't talk about as much, but that's yeah, like the coolest like, part. Yeah, that was the coolest part. Jesus is uh, um, is, uh coming from befriending Mary Magdalene. I feel like those are like things that everyone knows about, or maybe I just know about oh, yeah. them. And I I don't know, does he do those does he do some of those other things? I feel like he does right, some right, don't right, cast right. the first stone type of things. Like not really really intentionally. Where? Oh I guess freeing the green man, I kinda of feel like <clears> a little bit of a, a like I mean, he, he, oh, and that other lady. Yeah. Morwena, right? Morwena. Yeah. 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 And he, he does leave him alive. Oh, I don't know. But he kills more women. Right. Yeah, yeah, but he also, he like, humans. doesn't want people going down taunting her or leaving her. Yeah. Like, he's trying to make it just. Yeah. I mean, Jesus hanging out with lepers and dwarves is kind of, and tax collectors. I feel like he's a. Dwarves? Power. Yeah. You don't know that story? <laughs> no, tell me. <laughs> I, I want to say like, chapter and verse. <laughs> I want to say the guy's name is like Zacharias or something, and he like climbs. Tax he's a tax collector, and he climbs a tree. Oh, I see him as a tax collector rather than a, a little person. He's in the Bible. I mean, the Bible's kind of you know it takes place in fantasy times. Yeah, okay. so he's it's like Tyrion right. or Gimli in the Bible. <laughs> but yeah, he like climbs a tree to see Jesus speak, and Jesus is like, get that guy over here so he can see better. And everyone's like, he's a, tax, he's a tax collector. And he's like, I'm cool with tax collectors. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's a separation of church and state. <laughs> well, everyone hated tax collectors, but it was just guys doing well, the job. You gotta pay your taxes, man. You gotta fucking right. You gotta make everyone... <laughs> He has like followers. He, he, he does have followers. Like people are like 
like <laughs> noticing him and like kind of like tra tra tagging along with him, kind of like with Jesus. He gets more and more fans as he goes along too. Like like he's popular now. Like he's kind of like a little bit of a rock star. Well, oh, yeah, that I mean when he cuts off. Or when his head he goes into full on like grandstand stage performance, mm -hmm. which I think there's a lot more of that that he just never tells. Us yeah, because he specifically he tells us. He loves performing. He does, and he makes it clear that that's like a big part of it. But I think that he also is embarrassed about that and does not talk about it as much as it is true. Because mm -hmm. he says like, "Oh, I've been this like a ton of times." Right. Right. So I actually. Just going back to this wine thing, I I didn't read that as him turning water into wine. I well, read that say, as like doesn't say that. So I read that, that as like well, and I guess this just has to do with like this thing that's in my mind that is out has nothing to do with this book. Judaism. But in my no, <laughs> Judaism <laughs> it has to do with this book. Yeah, it sure does. Yeah, but we're talking about the New Testament. Right now. Yeah, that was the joke. Anyway, it was very funny. Try it again later. I think yeah, okay. we'll be ready for that later. Uh, you mean Jews? Judaism. Jews? <laughs> um, no, uh, I was just, I guess I was thinking of it as like he, this is the first time he's been outside of the city, like the urban area, and now he's in this village, and like maybe, you know, like in old times, they didn't always have potable water. Mm. And people like this is a thing that, and what the thing that's in my mind that isn't related to this book that makes me get, go that way is because I love to think about how like everyone in history was drunk. Right. Yeah. Sure. But that's like just where my mind goes. Is like okay, we're outside of like the urban center. Maybe there's isn't easy access to potable water, and you have wine instead of water. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's just. So but there was no point where the water you were held water. Right. Right. I, right. Uh, really? Didn't. The, where, where's the Not in the again? text, I don't think. Where to get the water ewer? Was this something they've been walking around with and drinking? Oh, I assume it's from the inn. Yeah, yeah, it's in the inn. Yeah, it's more like, yeah, it's like a fixture. Where the fuck is this shit? Oh, it's a fixture. No, it's not a fixture. The ewer? A ewer is a, is a container. Okay. Like a skin. It's like a ladle, I thought. A ewer is like a, like a, um, well, I can't think of a word because ewer is a word. But like a, um, <laughs> a you vessel. Know, a vessel. It's a, a ewer is like a, um, it's a holding water. Yes, like a modestly priced. A percent. large jug. With a lot yeah, a jug. Oh, okay. Thank you. A jug is the word. Formerly used for carrying water to someone for someone to wash it. So it's like yeah. So it's like a big, like a lot of water. A jug. It's a jug. Yeah. A jug is the word I was looking for. <laughs> Thank you. Where are we? Did we get? A... Maybe um, it's just that there's such resonance with the biblical story that I, I just assumed to have to be good. He has to be aware, like Gene Wolfe has Jonas had just could just be like... Before. So maybe, yeah, I don't know, because it says that Jonas saw the night before... Up for speculation, you know, it's... The water yeah, 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 they yeah. They never yeah. say... Yeah. Like, they never he's say that... He's a aware world of spot and change. change. That, it, that there's like a biblical overtone there. Did you, who, did you two think it changed? Or did I didn't think about it. I thought it had I, I underlined it because I was notable, and like, you and know that, you, that you know that Gene Wolfe, like, is aware of that. I think it's a sock overtones without that. being literal. Wait, but it's yeah. not. Yeah. Can I borrow some of these lexicon? I think it makes sense that it's like... There's an article it can, about this. Yeah, you're right. It can like... It can I'm, not, and I'm not arguing with... I mean, well, I don't know. I, right. I'm interested in exploring it. I'm just saying it never occurred to me that that... that because because it, at no point is it mentioned that it was at one time water. I think that... Whether it literally happened or not, it still is yeah. meant to make you think of that. Probably. That's how, kind of how I thought of that. It was like a little, a fun little detail that Gene yeah. was kind of like. And I think it's, it makes it, the fact that he mentioned that, the fact that he mentions the line later makes it, like, calls attention to the fact that it's important. In the lexicon, under the list of miracles that the claw uh, does, it has water and wine itself. But that's just that's the Deruzzi's thing, so yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But Deruzzi yeah. has cred. And fuck yeah. is cred. So this does, is our club. So, yeah. <laughs> so we're smart. I do feel like you know, we have changed the landscape of, of wolf commentary we have analysis cred. in our short <laughs> period of time doing the show. 
online people are nine. Yeah. We've, we've bent their minds. Um, listen, whether, whether, whether or not we respect people's ideas about this book is, a, is like whether people have read it. I mean, we can create. We decide who has No, not necessarily definitively, but we can create cred. Mm-hmm. And I respect that, all of you. Music. We're saying like whatever, like we're scholars. Yeah. <laughs> That's my point. We're, yeah. they, like, this we're, is legitimate. We're the same as these people. Yeah. 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 It's fucking. Yeah. It's fucking class. Yeah. I'd say cuter. <laughs> I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing. What? What? We're cuter than them. Oh, definitely. I yeah. think Mark's pretty cute. Yeah, Mark Aaron, yeah. no, yeah. he's not yeah. cute. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 On short notice. Oh, yeah, I think you're cute. <laughs> short notice. Um, well, I think you're cuter than the other Mark people. Oh, thank you. Brown? Oh, wow. Oh, no, Mark Armini. Oh, okay. Oh, he goes, hey, I think we're all cuter. The battle of the uh, Anyway, so I just didn't read that as that. So. I read that as they're out of the urban area now. I think it's the first time out of the urban area. I think it, it's ambiguous for sure. I, I think that's fine. I think every possible way you could see this makes sense. Yeah, you're, everyone's right. <laughs> All the time. This is a perfect book for millennials. Okay. Well, <laughs> we can just go home, really. I mean. <laughs> well, we're done. So we figured it out. I have my list. Yeah. And so, like, all I have is that he takes it out when he's in the room with Jonas, right? And it doesn't light up then, right? Right. And then Wait, are we starting at the beginning of the book? Yeah, because he has it out it. He has it out before that. Yeah, that's what oh. my question is, like, have I missed any? Yeah, he has it out, he, he pulls it out when he, when um, they're out in the country, like, when, they ju- when they're sleeping the first night that they've, like, right. reunited oh. with Dr. Talos. And Dr. Talos is like sleeping, mm-hmm. not sleeping, oh, yeah. and he's like, he's to and he right? knows at this point he knows sleep. that it lights up. The, the undying time. No, 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 no. I'm thinking of the time when it's, it's when they're sleep. like all asleep, like they they've yeah. done the play the, for the first time the night before oh, or that oh, night, right, and they're right, all yeah. like sleeping, and he pulls it out to like look at he it. He is visited by a Master Malrubius. Malrubius. Tristan the dog, yeah. Too, so. and, he knows at that point that it's lights up, right? And that's why he's uh, cautious about taking it out. I mean, he experiences a temporal event. But it doesn't light up? Does it light up when he takes it uh, out? Well, I think he like looks through it at the fire or okay. something. Yeah, yeah, we can find it. I mean, is there a... S- it lights up differently in the mines. And I love when he says it lights up for them, but not for me. Yeah. That does I seem like, to be what exactly happens. I mentioned both of those. Well, yeah. That, I mean, what... I'm sorry. Well, that it lights up in the mine when he's with the man apes, and then it unlights when they move away. Mm-hmm. It's always lighting for other. It never lights for him. It always lights for others. It, you know, it's, it's like this is the entire uh, thing about him being oh, Jesus. It's like he heals others. It, right. it's, it's not him. So I found he it. A Jews I found it when he when he pulls it forth at the at the campfire. Um, it, so it, it okay. does light up. Uh, okay. This is page 195. Um, so, it's, so it says, It was as if I held a star, a thing that burned with light. Dorcas was asleep, and though I hoped that we would examine the gym together, I forbore from waking her. The icy blue radiance waxed, so it grew, until I was afraid Dr. Talos would see it far off as he was. I held the gym to my eye with some childish idea of viewing the fire through his through a lens, then snatched it away. The familiar world of grass and sleepers to become no more than the dance of sparks slashed by a scimitar blade. So, it's mm-hmm. like... I think it's going on its own. Yeah, it's going on. Alright. But at this point, so he knows... That's where we're at. When is it that he discovers that he has it? Is it when he's in the cell? Uh, or he's with Dorcas? <clears throat> He takes his boot off for some reason and it's like, oh yeah. No, 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 because it's in his saber tap. Yeah. It's like in his bag first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He finds it. When is it that he finds it in his bag for the first time? Like, under, recognizes that he has it for the first time. I don't remember. Is that like around the agile? Is it maybe right after the agile? It's, it's, either right, it's either right before or right after. Oh, but look, can you go to grab it? 
Does he know it's there at that point? No, he doesn't. He stopped her from driving. Yeah, he, I think so. he like Water finds path. it later with the Orcus, maybe. Is it is it around the time that they see the cathedral? Mm. No, I think it's before that. He goes in his bag to get something else, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, well, he's like, like, he's like maybe he's going for the, the book, letter. The and then book I think or he, something. Doesn't he or realize at that thing. moment that's what Aja was doing when she was hiding me? Like, she was going yeah. for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He puts it together when that's he finds when he, it. That's yeah. when he finds it, yeah. But yeah. when is it that he finds it? Yeah, it's weird. It's before this section, right? It was. It's at the end of Shadow, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely yeah. in Shadow. From Lord of the Rings. My friend Adam sings it. There's a song in Lord of the Rings? They have yeah. Lord of the Rings book on the book. Oh, the book, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but it's in the movie when when, oh, really? when they go to Gondor. And, uh, oh, is Sam singing it? Yeah, he sings uh, it to yeah, uh, Walter yeah. from Fringe. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just at the end of this section, that's when the cathedral like bursts out above yeah. them too. Yeah. So then, perhaps the cathedral is vision. Perhaps you're seeing through time. But everybody Although sees other, other people, people see it. Other people yeah. saw. As soon as he leaves town, everyone's like, "Oh, yeah, we all." That means that it's not a vision. Uh, like other people see the other miracles that the claw uh, produces, and like a whole bunch of people saw a vision at Fatima in real life. Do we, do Don't we they have explain that pretty directly, though? Do they do. Do they? Yeah, they just straight up say, like, yeah, they said they the temple on fire. Yeah, they, they, they explain Oh, I thought you meant fat eye. Do the Hell Rings say that ever? Or do just people who see it? That is a good point. That is a good point. Yeah, that is a good point. Because people say, oh, it's a mechanical contrivance. They, like, somebody explicitly says later, like, it's a th- yeah. it's made to do this. But right. that is not coming from a Hell Ring. That could just yeah. be people, like, rationalizing a miracle. Mm-hmm. Like, of course, yeah, there must be something that makes it do oh, that. these poor freebles. I mean, they're like, you know, their mind is uh, trying to avoid paradox. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, that is a pot, that is a thing that can yeah. happen. But, yeah, I think it's interesting to think of it as, as a what? As a, as a miracle, an actual, like... It seems significant that he reaches in, finds this oh, claw, and then the pelerines, like, lift above him at that moment. Like, that seems yeah. like that has right. to be meaningful. In it's, some yeah, because that's sort of, like, the end of the pelerines. And it ha- doesn't happen when he gets the claw. It happens when he knows he has it. Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's mm-hmm. like, all right, now the claw is a different place. Mm-hmm. In the lexicon, yeah, uh, on the list of miracles, flying cathedral. Oh! <laughs> Well, wait, what? what I let's still think it's a All right. Severian the Apprentice drowned in river resurrected. Okay. Triskela resurrected. Piotr Crash, Severian and Asia resurrected. What they died? Uh, I didn't think that. I never that's what, that. That's what this says. Hmm. Yeah, that's Flying a, cross that's or aeroplane in the jungle. Dorcas resurrected. Severian killed in duel resurrected. Flying cathedral, water and wine at Salta's Inn. How, should, how long should I go on? Uh, light, a little bit light of salt is mine, Manet peeled, Thecla within the Severian Resurrect. That's one step beyond where we've 
Yeah, okay. So, yeah, through Manic. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if I would attribute all of those. Like yeah, that. some of them. Yeah, I think that, that, that seems generous. Some generous. Totally like, like dying in the in the crash. I don't think they died. That's the like flying no. cross in the jungle garden no. is Beth's Father Inire's miracle. <laughs> What happening in the jungle? Right? The, they see the an plane. Oh. Yeah. The plane, boss. The plane. That's the claw. Yeah. No. That's not the plane. No. That's the that's spectacle. The totally doesn't gray. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. uh, I felt like the whole Saltus is like the most uh, like explicit political allegory of the book so far. Let's talk about that. Uh, okay. So in the first one, in the first chapter, this line I really liked, uh, like most peons, he could conceive of no more than one social class higher than his own. <laughs> That's really That's fucking really insightful. Yeah. 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 Uh, I realized I'm also one of those peons when I read that. <laughs> 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 Where I was like, oh yeah. I mean, and I've, I don't know, I spend a lot of time on Twitter and I, feel, I see how people like are deal with politics and yeah. it's definitely fucking like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah I, was, I was a little bit so that, that set up, and then I feel like the second chapter that we, of Claw is where they bust the dude out of the house, mm-hmm. and that almost seemed like too on the nose for me. Like mm-hmm. the um, Alcade, is that how you say it? How do you say that guy? Alcalde. Alcalde, yeah, so yeah. that dude is like Bob Odenkirk doing a senator. <laughs> so He's, he basically does the fucking caveman lawyer thing. He's like, I'm only a rough miner. Yeah. Right. But I, even I know this yeah. man is innocent. Like, he does the fucking <laughs> yeah. caveman no, that's lawyer. A, that's a Thomas Pynchon crossover. Oh, really? I feel like that's it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You get a lot of sense of uh, Severian's mm-hmm. like material comfortable comfort that he has now too like mm-hmm. he like is talking about food a lot more yeah. at this point like <laughs> like he's literally like I ordered breakfast and got warm you know bread warm from the oven newly churned butter pickled duck eggs and peppered chocolate beaten to a froth you know? yeah, like, I mean well, they I never like, had that shit in the, in the like, like, I feel really like that's him saying that they're spoiling him because they think of him as this like celebrity mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of curious as to how Gene Wolfe knows when he's writing this like that fame sucks and exactly how it sucks like it seems to me something that is hard to divine without having been through it yeah like really his, well his imagination is out there i mean the way when this came out yeah the he's, way that the, he's riding on the pringles his like big head the pringles Machine. Yeah, like, I mean, I, like I associate, like yeah, now at Pringles conventions, that's like I mean, this is like the shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> manufacturing. Like, uh, like when he show. talks about hiding yeah. from your fans, mm-hmm. that's something that I feel like I I don't know I don't, I don't feel like that's something that occurs to people that haven't experienced it. I feel like there's a stereotype of like Mick Jagger doing that kind of thing. But the, but like, would you? T- I mean, but Gene Wolfe takes it as gospel. Do you take? Apocryphal stories about Mick Jagger to be true? I don't think most people did. I feel like even if you're not famous, you can conceive of what it's like in because you have your own version of what fame is in your world. You know, like even for someone who's completely not famous at all, like you have you're in situations in life where you're like, I'm the famous person here, you know? And uh-huh. I think he's kinda like drawing on those details and like blowing them. Yeah. Able to blow them up. I mean, Ryan can't imagine that you could 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 know about it without experiencing it because Ryan experienced. It. <laughs> yeah, and before Wait, I did, Ryan I was like famous. Entry. Famous, <laughs> great. Like you know that that's how you change the world. You get famous, and then you like make everyone do stuff you want them to do. And then you know you get famous, you're like, no, I'm hi-, you just hide I don't all think the time. Everybody thinks that right off the bat. I think a lot of people think fame sucks. Well, they're wiser than I was at <laughs> twenty. Well, yeah, you were also like a child, though, right? I mean, I was a child. Gene Wolfe's always been old. Also, yeah. arguably not. That old. <laughs> <laughs> he was born an old. Maybe child. I'm like his portrait of Dorian Gray. There you go. <laughs> That's why I'm still a, a baby. Cool. Cool. Well, my next question, which is skipping ahead, is what the fuck is in the mind? 
Yeah. What well, makes that guy the of sound. silver and that's, gold? That's no, the no, question. the sound. The, oh, the, 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 the thing oh, that's as know, big as a shitty. That's, the, yeah. that's so far ahead. I was yeah. listening. Yeah. Yeah. I just said, that's just my next week. Nobody was saying that. We, so we do want to talk about that for sure. Yeah, we will. I feel like that's going to be a big... I read some opinions on the internet. I want to hear about it. I want to hear those opinions. I am not know to talk about it yet. All right, no, no, I want to hear it too. Go for it. Yay! Let's roll. The claw is out, so we're experiencing a temporal anomaly. Exactly. Oh, oh, oh. We'll get that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I feel like we have already talked about this at least once. But what's a little bit? Because yeah. we're ex- you only feel that because we're experiencing a temporal anomaly. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 right. We, we, we kind of touched on it. I think we touched on it. But we haven't explored it and fully. There's a theory. One of the theories is that it's a mechanical thing, like an old, like old machines. Ooh. Okay. I like that. Like the big motherfuckers in Longsight. There's like a right. the, oh, like he like fully or, develops as a monster. Oh, and which, or the uh, the title of the of the mayor of, of the town, Alcaldi. Yeah, you know, like Caldi. Like so, yeah. 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 the yeah. Um, and or the the like giant tower robot thing that the Autark has in the war. Okay. There's like a giant machine yeah. that the Autark has in the war against the Asheans. Um, that, Any, that, that, um, anyway, that's like one of the things. Like one of the theories is that it's, a, that it's an old machine. <laughs> and another. He said, and he kind of says that too. He wonders about that, right? And another, oh, and another one of the theories is is the like um, what's Jai, Jai, what's the name of the um, this. The, the creature that we were reading about because uh, what's her face scratched it into the oh um Agia oh. it's a J it starts with a J oh yeah J- oh no no J- it's like Jai Peru or something J- oh, Jurupari yeah, yeah. Jurupari Jurupari yeah Jurupari um which comes from an old no, it's not in here. It's like um, it's like a South American mythical creature. But yeah. but anyway, the, um, the the other main theory that I read is, which I feel like we talked about, is that it's like one of these mega mega what do you what are they mega theorians, and then it's like the cave is a mouth, and you go into the being. It's a being. Like oh, there's a like, myth. Like Empire Strikes Back. There's a myth that that's based on, though. That, but that there's, like, like a... skyscrapers inside the being, aren't there? Mm-hmm. In the mine? Well, there's a city in there, yeah. I like the machine idea. I like, um, I like cool. that, too. And the thi- one of the things that lends itself to it being a machine that has something to do with the Autark is, uh, in my mind, one of the things that lends itself to that is that, um, is that whole thing about how Kind of like how Severian doesn't talk about the things in the wall, like one, of, and right. and then there's a part after that part, uh, the cave part, where Severian's like, I'm pretty sure I know what that is now, but he doesn't say it. Right. And that could, could be a similar thing with that theory that now that Severian's the Autark, he knows what these things are, but it's like the Autark's defenses, and he doesn't want to tell you about them. Right. But why do the man apes like scurry when they hear it? Like, sure, it's because right. it's scary and loud, or is something in danger? Is this uncommon, or does this happen every day? You know, like are like the gears like just adjusting themselves down there, does or the something common? Well, you think they'd be or used the to claw it. Does the start yeah. the machine? Is this new? Or it's know? a machine that they have to go tend, so Ooh, it's like they right. hear it moving and they're like, oh shit, we're off our like task. <laughs> just like it's not yeah, like there's an invader coming in there every day. Or, like, there's all these myths about it. People don't go the fuck in there because mm-hmm. they know it's full of these fucking dudes. So Severian's out. like the first person that's probably gone in there in a really long time. Which is weird. And then they're like, oh think, shit, what, what if it's a... lots of people would go in there. But like, also, what if it's I mean, like the, a, the, the a mining-related yeah. machine? What is up with the fucking stacks of silver ingots? That's weird. And he well, draws attention a, to it multiple times. This whole thing is crazy. I'm saying, like, yes, what, if, just what, what if that's like the mining operation going on down in the depths of that cave? Oh. And so it's, like, being mined and kind of, like, maybe that whole town that's in the, that's in the cave is, like, a refining 
Maybe so they're like mining and mining. It's supposed to be there, and Severin just doesn't know what it is, and it scares him in that moment. I like well, that idea. Or it's supposed well, to be Jonas, secret, or it's meant. Jonas talks about how he like has found a silver hoard or something, you know. So I, like, I don't know that it's necessarily like. I don't think it's active. Of, it's not like the livelihood of Saltus. Like that's not a Saltus mine, or at least it. It's right, it's like an autark related yeah, yeah, secret, like, like thing. Separate. So also, maybe odd, it's not it silver. Maybe it's like rare earth metals to make to do use for machines. Or it something. could be. And it's not necessarily he describes silver. them like very explicitly, not only as ingots, but as being stacked like yeah. methodically yeah. and uniformly. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I got the impression that this was like an abandoned mining operation. That like at some point they had been pulling out ingots. What I mean, if they're ingots, I feel like this is like Fort Knox or something. Well, an, like, yeah, Typhon, an like, ingot is not. Even how you would get out of, you know. No, it's not yeah. ore. It's yeah. 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 So I feel like they must be mining, like some kind of treasury or mining. something, where this was the form silver was already in, and they stack it all up to, for moving out. But then something happened, so they, they, you know, that operation ceased. Mm-hmm. They, they left all these stacked up silver ingots before they finished. Or stacked. it's, you know, yeah. it's yeah. where yeah. they would store. Well, you know, I mean, maybe they yeah. are oh. like. Oh. Metals that would be like high tech metals that would be used for. Well, they're in the end of the first book. He says that when he's talking about the language, he's like, I use the word metal, doesn't really mean metal, it means like something kind of yeah. like metal. Yeah. Like, I don't think there's any reason to believe that it's like literally silver stacked up in there, but it could be, you know, that it's, it's weird metallic uh, elements that would be used for machines that are no longer produced because mm-hmm. we're not in the mechanical age anymore yeah. and that they're being stored and like guarded for any eventual return to that right. in the future. Well, Jonas d- takes that mace, which they say is a pounded gold, gold, which means that it's at least, it's bare minimum like a, a metal that is known and has like value because he's able to just take it to the jeweler to right. like get a price for it, so it's not like it can't be like a super rare earth metal, or it's got it's got to be something like knowable to, to some degree. Oh, I just mean unknown by us. I mean, right? Just yeah, because it's yeah. knowable and it has to be knowable now. to Typhon. Right. Right. Who knew how to build ships and travel between the world? So it's, we're not restricted to Severian. No, but he's talking about no. But Mar- what Mark's saying is that is that Jonas is talking about taking it to a jeweler to basically like yeah, so, melt it so down and like pawn it. It's like too rare, or you know, like it's got to be something that's rare enough to have like some kind of nice value to it, but not so rare that like a jeweler's gonna be like, oh, like what are we gonna do with this? Specifically, it could be made into jewelry, which I don't think you would necessarily get out of like any element. Although then there's a possibility that Jonas doesn't know he's talking about. He's just saying, take this to the jeweler, and the jeweler would say, I don't know what to do. That's yeah, true. It's possible. I guess we don't see that. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. Robots are wrong? Robots can be wrong. Hmm. It could be wrong to make Oh, robots. oh, oh, no, but, it, uh, but doesn't later on it's mentioned that Jonas has all this money now? What he didn't before. There's which is oh, ostensibly right. because of that. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because Severian's <laughs> like, oh, he's been living off my money this whole time. And now he's like, Wasn't that later than that? Or maybe that was... Uh, anyway. but that might be later. I, I don't think that we got to that. Uh, so we're... Uh... We're in chapter six right now. Yeah, let's 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 go come back to that. You want to come back? Yeah, because I later. I definitely have other stuff I yeah. want to ask, but it's fine if we want to be more. Okay. All right. Well, well do, do we want to back up and like talk about the like yeah. execution? Can we go if, if just really quick? Like one thing I'm realizing on this read through is I kind of feel like I'm getting more of like the love story of this like book like more and more like mm, the yeah. arc of it. I don't know. It just seems like there's like this aching love underneath, and that kind of is what I'm. It is up on. awesome when he leaves after the letter. That part is. Yeah. It's like I. It, it's so psycho, but it makes Severian more sympathetic than he's ever been. Yeah. yeah. I love you, Grandma. <laughs> well, he's I. Not going, he's going to no, it's not Dorcas. It's Thecla. It's Thecla. Yeah. All right. And um, just really quick. Before, I love you, my own self. Before we dive <laughs> in. So. The epigram of the claw of the conciliator is, but strength still goes out from your thorns, and from your abysses the sound of music. Your shadows lie in my heart like roses, and your nights are like strong wine. Mm. 
that's what he chooses as like you know like to sum up or yeah, that's, that's or to, get, to give atmosphere. What's that to this crazy again? science fiction book? But strength still goes out from your thoughts. Is it a psalm? It sounds like a psalm to me. Um, it sounds like a psalm to me. Psalms are kind of sexy. What are you talking about? Who am I talking about? No, I'm talking no. about Gene Wolfe. Oh, just Gene. I think Gene. Just Gene. I think this <laughs> book. That's a gossip column. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stand-up comedy name. I feel like this book is like a big, weird Gene Wolfe talking about love. Yeah, I got a lot about this thing. Like, because um, I feel like. And how deep and repressed and how weird of a time he has with it, um, like underneath all of this. Because um. When you started talking about that, it made me remember, there's a part in here where I think Thecla comes through, like in the retelling. Um, but that's kind of, where was it? Here it is, it's on page four, 246. Well, cause, so like in the second paragraph of 246, they're like talking about later, they're talking about much later all of a sudden in these parentheses. And it, and cause, so because I'm reading, because I'm like doing a reading of like third and fourth, mm -hmm. like the later books while I'm reading this one, mm -hmm. I, um, because like by the fourth book, Thecla is like coming out so much more. Yeah. yeah. yeah and this yeah. is very similar to like the writing of that and, um. Yeah, yeah, I, I had that impression as I was reading through this too. Like Thecla is starting to like. I think like in this read through, I'm bit. noticing more how they're like already at this point. Like she's there. She's yeah. already here. Well, yeah, really because knows. Severian, because she's yeah. there when he's ready. Yeah, and yeah. I never really like. She's been there from the beginning. That's something that I never really picked up in the in this read through. I'm noticing it way more. I uh, yeah, I've definitely underlined a ton of times where I'm like, oh Thecla, but it was much earlier in the book. I think, yeah, the last yeah. book. I oh yeah. But that's just when I started noticing yeah, it, yeah. And, this, and where I'm like, oh, but like what it's is very it, Where obvious. is it that you're talking about? About in um in the chapters that we read. Yeah. Uh, page two forty six. The, the the parentheses in the second. The not not long ago when the Samri was still near the mouth of the gill. That part. Yeah. yeah. Or the guy. Because she's like she's so much smarter than him. <laughs> like anytime he's anytime he is um shows any kind of like insight. I'm like, oh, that's Thecla talking right now. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> but in that, he's talking about like being the auto. Mm -hmm. Right, but she's still- She's the auto I mean, too. she's also the auto. Yeah. Yeah. But like, I don't know, something about the romantic, like I feel like that's, mm -hmm. it's more like romantic, like romantic and like, not necessarily like a, even like a love sense, but just in like a flowery, Mm -hmm. Prosy way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, I think a Severian like tripping out. Right, like, like this, this is definitely him in the future talking. Like this is like, you know, one of the more obvious parts where he's in the future, right? Like that happens a lot where he's, but yeah. he's like, oh, and I'm the author right now. By yeah. the way, mm -hmm. yeah, and like page two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, but, like, cause he's he's. He's just like pretty simple, but then also there's this like parentheses that's like out of nowhere, and it's a little more like. I feel like it's talking about his. Saucy. He's like, oh, I saw, like, I was kind of like just zoning out on this boat, and there were all these lights that were like actually reflections, and then I just was like terrified that I was scared that like these people were coming for me. Like I didn't take it as like. Oh no no! I don't mean that. I just mean more like because he, as the book as like the books go on, he becomes. You can tell that he is the way he talks is different. Like his, he just be. I th I feel like he like gains a little more depth, and like this is like a little a little like peak of that happening later. Because it feels like this is breaking through, and I feel like that's that close thing is that she breaks through once in a while. Yeah, she definitely does, like, yeah. later on, for sure. Like, it's, it's a total aside, it's like, out of nowhere, it's in parentheses, in the middle of him talking about something else. Well, kind of, it's like an aside, but... 
You know what? It feels like it's too mature for severity. Right. That's what I'm trying to say. Where it's like once well, a while you get these little breaks through, and you're like, wait a minute, that's not that's not severity I know. <laughs> yeah, but this to me it doesn't. To me, this particular passage isn't that. To me, this particular passage is him like being scared of some shit that's not necessary to be scared of. Like, yeah. I think. I mean, he's I like, I've been freaked out about this ever since, to the point where, like, sometimes when I'm spaced out and I see a bunch of lights, I think it's these people coming for me. <laughs> well, that's what I read that as, which to me is not, like, a mark of maturity. It's, like, a mark of a dude that's, like, tripped out really easily. <laughs> a mark of a dude that's tripped out. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, but I, I'm not disagreeing that that happens a lot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I just didn't yeah, take yeah. that as that. I mean, I feel like that's the, the mature part is instead of being tripped out and going like, whoa, it's being like, phosphorus and fire was rising. Well, because he's also so, he will never admit, he doesn't want to admit he's done something wrong, he doesn't want to admit any kind of, like, this is, it's like almost like admitting, like, oh, I've done something that made people come for me. Mm-hmm. He always, like, glosses over people not liking him or, like, no, it's kind of like the variant's greatest hits. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just to let everybody know there's some shit going down on the Gene Wolf appreciation yeah, society. Oh, yeah. About us. It's not, it's not about us. We'll put a comment in the, the thread so we, they will be about us. Right, so so Mark Arminis going off. Mark Arminis oh, pissed off. Shittiest of shit takes ever. I will burn this world in fire someday because oh, somebody so tweeted. Cool. It wouldn't do you any good to carefully, closely read Wolf the way we do Joyce. There's nothing to discover or parse out. It's just the story. Oh, yeah! That is an epic yeah. troll. That is, that is, yeah, that that person is clearly yeah. trolling. Yeah. Yeah. They're clearly trolling. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, yeah. 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 He's like, what did you say? <laughs> we must not be the only group of friends who are sitting around talking about Mark Arabini. There must be someone somewhere else who are like, oh, 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 oh I, I got it. I got it. Yeah, that's fucking, that, no, that's fucking Vizotsky who wrote that. Vizotsky tweeted that, new handle, got on there. <laughs> At Aramini. Well, that, well, that's that's she the was thing pretty is, basic. Like the, the diagnosis is like handles Pierre Menard, which is a, a Borges character. Mm. Uh, there's a story. Which one? Is he on the, the Pierre Menard <laughs> author of Don Quixote? Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. about the guy who's trying to write Don Quixote right. without ever right. writing it. I love um, that story. Yeah. That's a good one. But yeah, so, so the guy is that. clearly like. That's clearly a troll because <laughs> it's only there's a bunch of Borgesian like subtext. Unpack it. This is clearly like something a troll. A character would say in a Borges story. Like there's nothing to this. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that rules it. That rules it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I will burn this bullshit post to the ground. <laughs> like you okay, just think. I just think fun. about it for three. Seconds before you hit push-ups and push-ups. Oh man! Here's some push-ups. Mark, if you ever watch this, you're gonna lose your shit. (laughs) (laughs) And we're gonna laugh. We're like the shock jocks of the (laughs) G. We are. The grease man. (laughs) The grease man. (laughs) We need more sound effects. (laughs) Yeah, I like jumped away. We I, I jumped ahead. We were trying yeah, to go methodically to the book. Right. And I made uh, us jump like 20 pages ahead. <laughs> uh, well, so where do we want to go back to? I, Whatever. I'd like to talk more about the political allegory yeah, in Salt. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got you. So, so the, I mean, the, the, the Al Calde is such a, he's such a caricature. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like he's one of the most cartoonish characters we've ever met in this so yeah. far. He is who he is. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah. He is who he is. Yeah, yeah I, this is this is my town. I grew up with this mayor, and it's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah, when he talks about one or two ducks a year keep the rest from feeling too comfortable, about how like the, we just go after like yeah. we'll we'll take one or two merchants and dunk them in the river so that all the other merchants are like a little bit scared. Yeah. Uh-huh. I thought that was really interesting. In that it's like talking about the role of symbolism in keeping order in society. And how like it has nothing to do with justice, but it does have to do with protecting people. Mm-hmm. And like that ambiguity 
I feel like is really important because then once we get to the end of the chapter in which Morwenna is executed, the possibility of justice in a big society is like kind of dis like it disappears. Like I feel like that's to me that feels like the big point of Saltus is to like take us through some motions of a society trying to deal with justice in a really practical way and how it has like nothing really to do with the ideal romanticized I like think of justice, but it does have a positive practical effect. Which I think is something like about our society that like civilians won't accept mm -hmm. or cop to, but that which like people who are not civilians or like in military or government, like ex like it's just assumed that like that's how you do things because they have a practical positive effect. And like if there's something romantic about it, like that's great, but that's not what guides your decisions. So yeah, so I mean that whole thing about like one or two death a year, that's like a symbolic pre-punishment of people that haven't committed any crime yet, but they believe that it prevents crime. And maybe it does. I mean I feel like it would. Does it have kind of a Shirley Jackson? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's chapter two. That's my only note for chapter two. I, I was uh, I thought he, he talking about how the the last somebody's telling is very good about how like, the last time they burned somebody up, um, they went in thinking that surely like she would she would be could be dead, but instead they found something that was like no longer human. And I was like, oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything more to say about it. I just like really thought it was really, it kind of reminds like a really me, weird thing. Well, it kind of reminds me a little yeah. bit of um, that Black Mirror episode where the military people have like, uh, you know, like implants to like help them do like, uh, have you guys seen this Yeah, one? yeah, yeah, I know. Augmented reality. About. And then this one soldier figures out that like, it's not just like, distance readings and like thermal graphics they're getting, they're also, their implant is changing the appearance of their enemies to be monstrous. Mm -hmm. And so they're like killing humans, but they think they're killing these weird zombie creatures because right. the military's put this thing that like adjusts their sight. And I kind of thought like this was sort of an analog version of that. Because we know later that this person, Barnock, is not a spy for Vodalus. Right. Or if he is, he's a willing martyr. And so, like, the idea that, like, maybe the whole point of, of like, uh, walling someone into their own home is so that they become unhuman, so that you can associate, you know, so the people in the town associate the enemies of the town with this subhuman thing. Mm -hmm. Like, sort that's of how we I, do I feel that. like that's a little convoluted. I feel like it's just that they made a mistake. They put this person in solitary and throw them in But it's not a mistake. They do it every year. All right. Wait, I mean, she, wait can I just let you say that they, like, this happens every year on the fair? I feel like, I mean, it happens with regularity. Because I think it's the same thing as ducking one or two merchants. Well, because wait, so well, you're, you're assuming that it happens every year because the merchant thing happens. But you're saying that. Or states that, that it happens. This, what well, says? Well, when they talk about this happened couple, before with this woman. But that happened, it usually happened 18 years ago. Yeah, I wasn't under the impression that it happened. Well, maybe oh, maybe not the craziest years. thing that's happened. Yeah, yeah. Okay. the craziest time. Jonas says that it is traditional. Okay. Yeah. He's, but he says you've heard the saying, a legend, a lie, and the likelihood we could tradition. Right. Well, I just feel like it, it serves a parallel function in their society right. as the ducking the merchants. Like, you duck merchants to keep price, people from being gouged. You wall someone in their house to keep people from being spies. And it doesn't matter if they're really a spy or not. But it really helps if when you let them out, they're a monster. Yeah. You know? Like, it they, makes me as think anyone would about the, the right. sleep deprived Russians. Right. Yeah. yeah. No Who are they? Oh, they they did like a sleep, they sleep deprivation experiment by the Soviets or something. Yeah, they didn't let them sleep, and then they all like, went nuts and ate each other. They do it in Gitmo. Couldn't die. Sleep deprivation is a standard on Gitmo too. Yeah. They play. They have lights on twenty four hours a day in Gitmo, and they also like play loud music. It's like completely, completely destroyed like all the prisoners' conception of like time and what day it is and whether it's day or night. Yeah, Gitmo is it, it's wild. 
I had a dark weird thought all of a sudden this one thing instead of uh, getting one with music Oh God. One day there probably will be. Yeah. But like it's the same it's a similar yeah. thing in Gitmo because the guards are separate from the intelligence people. So the people that do interrogations uh, are not the same people who guard the cells and if you turn the people in the cells into like monsters by depriving them of sleep and light, or sleep or whatever, like bio rhythms, then the guards, it's easier for the guards to be like, these people are fucking terrorists. Did you see that Errol Moore's movie, the um, yeah. standard yeah. operating procedure about yeah. the brain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was the one about the yeah. Lindsay, yeah. whatever his name was. Yeah, yeah. but like, but yeah, they're just like, oh, this is the thing that happened. Like, I don't know, when you're in a situation, you're, you're not, not, not to like make any excuse for those people, but like, no, you know, like, yeah, this is a normal thing that we do. I mean, yeah. what, what do you expect, right? When you see that thing, you know? yeah. I mean, the guards are told these people are high value terrorists, that's why they're here. And then the interrogators go in and realize, like, these are just people who've been basically mm -hmm. turned in for ransom. Yeah, and now the people are like, you need to stop this. And they're like, never talk about this again, you're not allowed yeah. back here. Yeah, and then and the interrogators are all like, uh, like independent contractors, so they can just send them away. You know, like if somebody yeah. gets too, con like has too much of a conscience, you just, you know, we need another contractor. Get rid of them. Uh, well, speaking of imprisoned people, we want to talk about the Green Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that Green Man. Chapter, Chapter three, three, the, the Showman's Sense. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah, he is cool. I think it's yeah. really cool how he makes us. He really steers us hard towards Leprechaun before we open up. Does he? Hey, my little Green Man, he, and he'll. Uh, He'll get, he'll find the, Or alien. Uh, I, got, the first time I read it, I thought alien. Uh, I, knows I, everything, knows everybody. He'll like tell you where the <laughs> treasure is. I feel like there's a sort of like gold, like uh, gold at the end of the rainbow thing with him. <laughs> what, what, did, like, what, what, what is the green man? Because of my wicked background, like, I just really thought it would be the green man. Right, yeah, I mean, that, that was my... Is green man the I don't have a yeah. wicked yeah. background. He's a time yeah. okay. I like his skin is green because they eliminated hunger right, right, and right, toil right. in their world by like oh, injecting like algae yeah, yeah. into their body. Is he from the future of Earth? Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. He's, he's an Earth, he's an Earthling, but yeah. But like in a kind of a utopian future. Yeah. Like a like a, like a like an animal he, yeah. uh, uh, animal so, plant so, hybrid. Yeah. yeah. Because they like <laughs> surpassed uh, like I mean it's yeah. they're, they're like so far ahead that they they actually cared to eliminate suffering. Yeah. And then that turned them into these like genius time travelers. Yeah. And then he's imprisoned them. Yeah. Like, in the by, past. by this like basic like carnival. He just like lets him get a little bit of light a day if he's good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Classic <laughs> time travelers in the world. But he needs to be there in order to owe Severian. Because he's he saves Severian. He, he's a day you six months. You know, like he pops up in uh, where he the helps Agia free Severian from the Asians. He helps in the opening of the uh, uh, tomb of Abu Kunchao. He like oh, he's okay. the thing that saves Severian in all the moments where nothing else. And like this is the moment where Severian saves him and ends up only like this is so necessary. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he represents uh, according according to the lexicon, he represents the triumph of Usha. Rather than Master Ash, who represents the failure of the new son. There's a uh, okay. So I, on two thirty, I have that. There's a, a interesting dichotomy between Severian and Green Man when they're talking as uh, creationism versus like contemporary like random chance. Like with, when they're talking about stones and statues, mm -hmm. that like uh, the this like time traveler from the far future believes in a universe of random chance and Severian sort of has this really beautiful way of refuting him like uh, when he talks about stones being made into statues I really like that mm -hmm. where is yeah, that? Yeah, it's yeah, on 230 uh, let me find it it's on 230 it's uh, I think like it's at the top it's, yeah it's right at the top okay yeah yeah. Second. Yeah, you know nothing about me. I'm not talking. I am not a talking vegetable, as you should be able to see. Even if a plant were able to follow the one evolutionary way out of some many millions, that leads to intelligence. It is impossible that it should duplicate in wooden leaf the form of a human being. And then one fucking line. Severian goes. Same thing might be said of stones. Yet there are statues. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, yeah I like threw my book and cheered when it yeah. happened. I was like, that's so fucking dope. Like. Which is basically how the Green Man responds to, right? He's like, 
Oh, that was well put. <laughs> yeah, like, damn. But I feel right. like it was on accident. I feel like it was, it was just scientific like, training oh, yeah, for a better so... talk than you realize. Well, and I, I, that makes sense to me. Like, an intellectual, very deliberate, ego driven person is like often take, like, caught off guard by a dumbass who's following intuition. You know, but like a dumbass is sometimes not in the way of their intuition. Like, an intellectual. But a stone doesn't involve intuition. I mean, like, yeah, a stone is in fashion. This is more of like a philosophical. Right, right. But that's the. Yeah. That's the. I mean, to me, that's the thing. Is like, are we here? Like, like the green man represents what I feel like is like the prevailing modern attitude that like this was all random. Like it's random. We look like this. It's random that a banana has a peel. It's all. Well, I don't think so. He, I mean, it's it's he's it. The fact that he's green is that they that they, they made themselves. Yeah, green. they modified algae. Right, right. They didn't well, just evolve to become green. No, but he's saying, like, it would be impossible for there to be a talking vegetable because <laughs> if something, like, of all the million things you could evolve into, if you've got the one that has intelligence, what are the chances you'd also get shaped like a human? I think is what he's saying. Like, like all evolution is sort of, like, is kind of meaningless, like, a result of, of chance. And then Severian saying... No, things are the way they are because of mean. They're not. It's not because they're meaningless. It's because they're meaningful. Like yes, stones are are fashioned, and and Severian believes there is a fashioner of human beings or of right. living mm -hmm. creatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or I mean, yeah, and I don't think that necessarily has to mean like a father god. It's just that there is in, like in, you know, there's meaning to why things are the way they are, which is what like the opposite of what we're talking. We're taught that there's not meaning. That to read meaning is to be simple. That to, to understand that things don't have meaning is to be smart. I mean, I, some of us have done that. Some I don't know. That. I didn't. Yeah, I mean, we're taught that by like existentialism, postmodernism. It's an in your biology that's class that's at the moment. Bible so that class. That is quite yeah, the opposite. <laughs> really? Please, please elaborate. Well, the planet square and this. If you have these two parents and this, and you know, this will happen. I love that. <laughs> I was, um, yeah, I, they put um, gas paper at the back of our textbook, which is really nice treat. <laughs> but, so having said that, if you know what two things you do have, you should be able to predict what will come. I think that's different than meaning, though. Like, the f I feel like the forms, like, tracing back their causes is important to contemporary, like, fact, but that it is also very important that there's not a reason it's this, other than, like, mechanical reasons. Okay. Like, there's not a, there's not, like, an ideal behind the forms we see today. It's the result of, like, physical interaction. So there's a 25% chance there will be this, and there will be a 25% chance yeah, but that doesn't like reflect on the meaning of those forms. It's just like we can tell you why they're here, and like. But yeah. I don't think that's the prevalent paradigm, though. I think that's a vocal paradigm, but I don't think it's the prevalent. You don't think most people believe it? No, I don't. Huh. I diff Well, I. I think that we come in contact. The most of the people we come in contact with. Educated people believe it. I don't want to say educated, education. but I know what you're. But I dig what where you're going with that. Okay. <laughs> Can you defend me for all the people that don't dig it? What? Can you defend me for all the people that don't dig it? I mean, there's a bunch I'm of fucking asshole academic evangelical atheists who think that nothing means anything. Uh, and they think that because then they can feel that they're victims, even though they're rich, powerful white men. True. I'm looking right. at you, Richard Dawkins. <laughs> right, right. Go. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's his name? Sam uh, Harris. Sam oh, Harris. Sam Harris? Yeah. Fuck you, Sam Harris. <laughs> <laughs> the new, the new he's, he's, you he's putting you on yeah, notice. The new atheists can We're calling you all out, the whole yeah, internet. All, all new atheists can eat shit. Don't. <laughs> don't. It's the worst. Yeah. Oh, hey, we need a camera. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Making a splash. Hey, yeah, you have to do it though, because I don't want my dad to think I'm a fan. Yeah. Is oh yeah, it? I was wondering if you put, put like color bars up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> like, can we cut the video? <laughs> Mark seems to think that it's they don't care. It's an old old I mean, I care. I might be a little positive. I, I think really care. 
did text Aaron to ask if it was looking good, and he said it looks great. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, Aaron. Bye. Hi, Aaron. That's an emphatic not fuck you to Aaron. Yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> this is actually fun. Maybe we can get Aaron to go beat up Sam Harris. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to beat somebody up. We can give him somebody. Oh, you're covering everything except. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we need a picture of Mark now. <laughs> we need a picture of Mark and me for times like this. Stop! <laughs> it's a little like stand by music. <laughs> oh yeah, we could probably put a different video. Is there stand by music? The hustle? Oh, I have a bunch of Tori Chan gifts. Maybe we can just do it. Yeah, that would be good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, we should just do a very song. We can just put a very limited intermission. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's one of my favorite jokes is when going into the intermission. But, oh. Oh, my Mr. Presumption. <laughs> 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 Whose polar seltzer is this? Oh, it was mine. Oh, oh no. Presumption is empty. Empty. He said, looking good, kid smell. Kid smell? Yeah. Does he call you kid smell? I don't know. Man. That's bullying. Does, <laughs> does Joy call you that? Does that Joy? No, no, Joy calls me Rihanna. Whoa. Oh, really? Why? What does Joy oh, call me? She only ever calls me by my name. See my face. Yeah, you don't have a name yet. Seaboy. Oh, I'm impervious to nicknames. Yeah, though. you're Connor. Yeah, Kaiser. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, your Kaiser. name is already kind of sounds a little thick. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> that's good. That's good. I will no, say, my goal is to just be somebody else's dream. I will say, you wow. Are, you, are, you are very evocative. <laughs> you are like, you're, the, the utterance of your name evokes a, a feeling. Somebody else's dream. Far out. <laughs> this is wonderful. I'm so happy. Oh, my goodness. I had, I had a nickname in middle school. I think that was the last time I had a What was it? It was... Wadlow. 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 That's a middle school thing. Right? It's like, don't do the water here. That's terrible. The wad. I got the wad. The wad? I got the wad. I got the wad. I feel like I have almost as many nicknames as I have friends. Wow. But they're almost all based on my last name. Mm -hmm. Like, my name just gets mutated. Yeah, or it's just That's Kirby so or Jim Kirby. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. If it's my yeah. name, it's it's all either the last name or oh, all God. are both together. Oh, no. But then the last name has had many. Oh no! Some things are frozen. Oh, I just have to move it up. That's what I have to do. Yeah. yeah. Boom! Like all right. Yeah. 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 Did you just put a Tory chain uh, guess? Like, no. Carbonator. <laughs> yeah. I figured out how to do it. I wish we had more drums. Um, I think we need a one syllable for sure. Yeah. Yes, syllable a three there. syllable name. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're ah. confused. Wait, that was, wait, that was your failing. I thought we were just failing. Cigarette. <laughs> cigarettes are good. Oh, good cigarettes. Oh, right. Good indoor cigarettes. No, we were just pouring it around. <laughs> indoor, <laughs> indoor things. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, come on back. It was Tory Chain for a while. <laughs> yeah. I think this is going to be the first episode that Madison, you know, gets to comment. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Madison what does you comment. Yeah, yeah. what we will, uh, what like MST <laughs> style? No, 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 like uh, Terrace House style. Yeah, like we told. Oh, Terrace House. Oh, she's going to come in. Oh, yeah, okay. our favorite show. Uh, it's the oh, world. Oh yeah, I, I got them into it. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. I'm 
never heard of it. It's, it's so well, good. So but this is a Gene Wolfe discussion. Yeah, we're not going to turn yeah. this into a terrorist. I like that lady from The Gift. Shh, shh, shh. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> She's great. Wow, this is, we're yelling now. Whoa, what, what is that over there? You want me to know? Is it new Can I try? I don't know. Are those pond humans? It's new. Yeah, let's look at it for a second. Oh, what's that? They're menthol Oreos. Is it R.I.P.? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, I've never had him in me. He was, he was like, had his arm around his wife. That's a great thing. Joanne. Yeah. And sometimes his wife's name is Joanne. Joanne, yeah. Oh, like the fabric. Right? Not, yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, no, she didn't eat at the end, so. Not yeah. like the fabric. Joanne. What's Joanne's the restaurant? So back to the green man. Yeah, green man. Right. The new song. Well, we're eating the mint. Well, cookies. yeah, because. Thank you. Oh, That's yeah. all. That's the latest. I just wanted to, to point out that this is a green cookie. <laughs> They're mint, which is green. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else is green? Yeah, there's nothing green on this cookie. This, uh, green. Oh, this polar I is green, too. It's mine. So the leprechaun <laughs> also reveals to us what else could be considered green? that the new <laughs> sun came and everyone forgot. Ooh. Yeah. Like, yeah, like totally. the, the, which I feel like is also insinuating that the new sun has come before yeah. and everyone forgot. Yeah. That we're in like a cyclical universe. Oh yeah, we definitely are. Yeah, but I feel like the Green Man makes it very explicit. Yeah. Right. But, but also, the new sun didn't come. Didn't come for who? Master Ash. Where's that? In the house. Oh, was the last house? Yeah, in the last house, which is in book. Three, is it? Oh, or four? I don't remember. The Pellerine season. Yeah. So, I just read that. And this is where randomness comes into play. Like, everything has meaning in your, in your timeline. But everything, like, your timeline is slaloming, slaloming between different possible Ooh, universes. Slaloming. Yeah, so, like, nothing is meaningful because everything can happen. So what is happening to you is meaningless in the sea of possibility. But it's meaningful for you because you have a path that you've taken through this that's built on each other. It's like Do that, that all you want. <laughs> it's like that. Oh, that's such a Kenny thing. <laughs> Kenny goes, mm. <laughs> um, It just, that reminds me of that thing. Oh, shit. It might be in the one chapter I read too far. <gasps> I might not be able to talk about it. Yeah, you can't it up. He does it every time he opens his mouth. You can do it. Yeah. Wow. All moments in time are happening simultaneously. <laughs> yes. We've already read that chapter. Anyway. Can I have another Numenau? <laughs> <laughs> it's the thing so think, is it, where he, he, I think it might be. Is it Numenau or Luminous? <laughs> right? Yeah. Phenomenal. Those um, Numenaus are Numenous. <laughs> this is. Yes, one chapter too far. Uh, but it's right at the beginning. Say it, say it, say it. Um, say it. When they're riding through the forest after he and Jonas have been mm -hmm. have been abducted from the inn by a votalist right. dudes. Um, he's riding. They're riding on the back of the like elephant thing. Yeah, that thing's called Bal shit. There. Shupa. Um. And the bar necropolis, and that they would stand yet drinking in the last light of the dying sun, even as now, when I had been dead as long as all those who rested there, I saw how little it weighed on me, or I saw how little it weighed on the scale of things, whether I lived or died, though my life was precious to me, and of those two thoughts I forged a mood by which I stood ready to grasp each smallest chance to live, yet in which I cared not too much whether I saved myself or not. By that mood, as I think I did live, the idea that and it's more of a time, it's more of a linear version. Right, like, it's personal. But it, I don't agree at all that slaloming between every single possibility makes anything meaningless at all. I think it's the opposite. I think it's, no, it's meaningful for the person who's slaloming, but, but it's from also, the God's eye point of view, from objectivity, everything is meaningful. No, 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 no. From God's from oh. God's eye point of view. All of these possibilities must be enacted so that God can know itself. So every single instance is, com is extremely meaningful because God can't know itself unless we do everything God can do. I agree with this entirely, but I still think that at least when, when everything becomes me equally meaningful because everything needs to be meaningful, that is the same thing as everything being meaningless. 
That is a crazy leap no, that you true. just made. That's what? true. No, it's that's like a, that's like a classic yeah. tenet. That's like a classic fallacy. Continental philosophy. <gasps> That, yeah, I know. I'm not, not a fallacy. I think it's completely <laughs> wrong. I think because if it's meaningless, then you can take it away, and you can't take it away, or else you haven't fully expressed God. If everything's at a hundred percent, that's the same thing as zero percent. Like it's, yeah. it's 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 the great equalizer. Not if, in this if case. All of the bars are not at in top, this case. That's no, you know, it's the new zero. No, because <laughs> no, because everything that exists Sorry. does oh, mean a whole lot. It can't ever be meaningless. Because it exists. It's the thing that made it. It's not the thing it, if it made it, then it's meaningful. But it's all on the same Yeah, but it's Yeah, all meaningful. Might as well be. All so meaningless. might as well be meaningless. Why? <laughs> That's just, I feel like it that's just, over. no, that's, yeah. that is neurotic. Like, Leave even, your comments below. <laughs> it's neurotic to think like, meaningful and meaningless are meaningful? synonyms. Well, that is Let us know. Okay, so like, <laughs> the meaningfulness meaning implies meaningless. Well, if you right. know, nothing is meaningless, then what does meaningful mean? All right, which do I use to juke around it? Not on the Wow. Oh, <laughs> all right. I just, I, I, I don't, I just think that like the idea that in the, Everything could be meaningless is not inevitable conclusion. It's an option. Meaning is a finite thing. Meaning is a thing for humans. It's, yeah. it's small. It's like that like emoji. We need meaning. God doesn't right. need meaning because often, God is meaning. And we see patterns where there aren't really patterns. It's just random. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my like, God. Like the sum total. The sum total. All of this. I think the idea is that the sum total of all meaning will on. still be ultimately meaningless to an, an omnipotent being. If like, if somehow you have not learned that as above so below, wow. we, <laughs> we are the fucking microcosm of the macrocosm. Uh -huh. It's not it's not it's not like we can never understand those things because they're so big. Those things have given us all the tools to understand. Them. I would it's posit, everything. I would posit that. Yeah. What about wait? What about the what about the 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 Jewish part of this? Yeah. <laughs> Or like the void and the creation that's within the void. Like yeah. I tend towards Connor. I haven't. I've been waiting to like see who like what. Because I, I was wow. like, I don't know if I've been in the middle. I'm like, I kind of can see. <laughs> I was just that fun. Connor's. <laughs> con I ultimately think that you somehow agree. Like with each other. Yeah. That's probably true. Oh. To say Tolkien. Uh, <laughs> just the name. <laughs> I didn't want to say it. Let's just <laughs> contemplate Tolkien. A word, Tolkien. But like you can, it's like what I mean is though you can't have like the everythingness without the nothingness. Like, well, like nothingness precedes. Right. Yes. Exactly. Mm, yeah. Is that what the, the ain't so, so like? and the ain't so for? The, the ain't so is there first. But, the, uh, the void and yeah, the but void that's not nothingness. It's, it's chaos. Differentiate. Order comes out of chaos. It's with it's thing. Sometimes. It's everything without differentiation. It's not nothing. It's everything. Well, that's and so then kabbalistically. Oh. That's not the concept. Oh, kabbalistically, like oh, ain't so means oh, like yeah. without anything, without being. It's non-being. Non but it's light. No. Right. It's endless light. Ain't so doesn't it literally mean endless light? No, ain't so or means endless light. That's the second part of the beingness. You're very confused. You're absolutely not confused. I'm one layer down. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which, is, which is which is which is exactly what I'm trying to say about you. Like I think that you are like you're talking about the perspective in the beingness, which is true in its own in and of itself, but that doesn't take into Stop. account. It's not the whole picture, which is what I think. Yours is like inside. You gotta leave Hawkman go up to Kether. Ah, okay, I think I think that you are putting like a weird precedence on the like the nothingness for. Well, it, it's that's that's how it goes. It kabbalistically speaking is all I'm saying. It's also the spirit of the times. We need nothing. That that I, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it's it's huh. because of what the way we live and the thi like the things we have to grapple with that nothingness precedes everything. Else. Right, but that doesn't change that it's absolutely and unalterably always true. No, no, now. not at all. For right now, for right now, for right so, now. For right I don't now live right now. Unalterably true. I mean, if I was restricted to right now, then okay, but I'm not. Do you mean today? Oh. I he means like while we live and die. Oh, I mean all the things that now could mean. 
So anyway, you want to talk about these ape men? <laughs> yes! <laughs> why do they glow? <laughs> why, yeah, yeah, why do they glow? Because they, they live underground. Because they live underground. Okay, so they, I'm they impressed become... that everybody was ready to just jump out. <laughs> <laughs> like, really? You're jump. surprised that we were ready to be done with that conversation? Yes. yes. Good. I <laughs> loved every second of it. It was good. To be clear, I loved every second of it. Me too, yeah. It's my Having favorite said conversation. That, the whole time, <laughs> I was always thinking about how much I love this book club. <laughs> 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 I was listening to it and I was like, this is the best thing. The whole time, I, I, I couldn't even book. weigh in, so I was like, what do you mean meaning? <laughs> like, what are you talking yeah. about? What do you mean? Like, what is it? Is it very difficult? I can't what? even start the what conversation. Is, what is like, called meaning? I, yeah, what is called meaning? What is this meaning you speak of? Come on, it's a meaning. Wait, we're skipping, we're skipping oh, over. We are skipping. If we're jumping straight. We're skipping over Morwenna's whole fucking execution. Oh, oh, no. We have to talk about Morwenna. We do, because that part is amazing. We also didn't really talk about the green man. No, we did not. Oh, he's a leprechaun from the no, future. He's so cool. We really like him. Yeah, he's really. not not a Oh, so we really like him. So <laughs> his existence implies that he, that, like, he is part, right, because you were talking about Mr. Guy from. Mr. God, Mr. Master Ash. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. God. Who <laughs> definitely exists. Isn't that the David Crush show? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she liked it. David Crush. <laughs> no, David Cross. <laughs> David Crush. Okay, Although I could see how you get him confused. I thought you said David Crush. <laughs> I, I, I need a new man. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Can I have a new man? Yeah, you can have a new man. You know. You know. You know. You know. You know. You know. Why is it important and his existence in the future that that's part of his timeline, right? Wait. Say it again. The fact that he... Give me six more. The whole thing about Mr. Ash. I love you, Valley. The whole thing about David Crush is that when he... He was very attractive. When he leaves the chalet, he disappears because he, for whatever reason... You're calling the Waco compound the chalet? I'm not against it. I'm just making sure. The stuff on chalet. Well, my interpretation is that Mr. A that Master Ash disappears because as they go down through whatever weird time maze you have to go he, through to get to the last house, he moves into a universe where he doesn't exist. That's right. What, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. He gets is closer that, to the universe where Severian right. succeeds, so he no longer is. And that implies that the Green Man is like important to what happens later because in this book. Yeah. Oh wait, so the future depend it's weird. Like you're talking about like an interdependent relationship between the, the right future is the one with the green man in it. And the green man only we only get that future if Severian succeeds. No! There is no right future. But there is there, there all exists, it's just that this is the one that we're reading. Okay. That's what I mean when I say right. I'm not I, that's that what I mean. That's the, all I mean. Right. That does not make it right. So it means what else? What other the future, then. The future. The future. The future. Our yeah. future that we get One. from the book. Okay, so my we question. Get, we get Master Ash, too. So my, but I think my question is, though. No. Okay, cool. The, the question <laughs> that I was looking like, in the process of asking. What was, which was what? what? was, <laughs> that, like, can we assume, based on what's going to happen in part in book four, can we assume that the existence of the Green Man in Book Two means that he is Severian's future? Yeah, they're all Severian's future. Uh, I think. I well, because it is that never the He's also Severian's past. Oh, because Master Ash. He talks about Master Ash, but Master Ash is away. So right, just Master because he's there doesn't mean that he makes any sense. Right. Okay. But yeah, Green Man, Green Man, Green Man's in Severian's past as well, because he. Freeze him as Abu Punjab before anybody even exists. Right. The, time is independent. Time, things that exist and things that don't exist are interdependent on each other. Like that which exists yeah. can't okay. exist without the things that don't exist. Okay. Let's talk about more. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. No, I brought it up. I'm the one who will, like derailed more when I was talking about that. We should talk about it. We should get more when I heard I think it. I actually was the one to derail it and then you just got on the train. Oh, I got it. Yeah. I, I, I love trains. So, <laughs> trains are so cool. Trains are beautiful. It's so cool. I'm so happy that we're getting we a whole nice free train. We yeah. do. AOC's bringing it to us. 
Oh, really? She's gonna give us yeah, she wants to have she wants to have trains that make it so we can go from New York to LA in three hours, and we no longer have to fly. Is there anything she can't do? No, no. She's, she is the she's new god. I tried yes! to I tried to be so cynical, and then everything yeah, I learned is like, like, oh fuck, I gotta like a politician. Yeah, yeah. She's perfect. Yeah. She's I gotta yeah. like a politician. That's a big thing for me. You I don't do that. No, exactly. <laughs> I was telling you yesterday. She's so amazing. Yeah, yeah. I saw uh, things in between that conversation. Now I saw a whole other thing where I was like, ah. Fuck, no, I don't yeah, like a politician. That's it. 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 You're saying about, like, being the bad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just yeah. like, yeah. this is, like, a day of always watching. Do you guys know about Saturday Night Live last night? No. Oh, that was that was some shit this morning. A bunch of people, like, apparently Saturday Night Live, like, did a skit with Jimmy Fallon. Oh, that was that was some shit this morning. A bunch of people, like, apparently Saturday Night Live, like, did a skit about her last night. Who watches it? And it, Nobody. Children. Adam Andrews. Which is the, uh, why it's dangerous. I, I think, think it's because children watch it. Like, yeah, like I saw the thing they did about the classic Nancy Pelosi and like the meme AOC throwing a tablet or something. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, last night. They depicted her as like a wild, violent Latin woman who likes memes, which... Oh. No, they had a fucking a, um, like a tablet at a uh, staff on head or something. Mm. It was very strange. Yeah, it's, it's really weird, weird, but it like, I mean, it makes her so much more, more so, sympathetic, you know, like... SNL represents everything that is, yeah. you know, uh, I don't know. It's cool. Cool. It was very cool when Donald Trump Jr. called it S and <laughs> Oh yeah, that was funny. That is funny. He, he uh, made a, an anti-SNL tweet that put it as S and like the S and L. Yes, S and L. S and L. Which is already Saturday and live. Live from New York, it's Saturday and. Oh but that also it's means so savings and loan, which was the big that, Republican that, scandal yes. of the late 80s. Uh, right. Savings and loan scandal. The savings and loan scandal was like a big, oh. like, rich people are fucking evil thing at the end of the 80s. And that's probably just like, that is auto-correct. That's a special reference in his mind that a TV show that's been on for like 40 years. 50 years. <laughs> yeah. 50 years. Yeah. Oh. It's such shit. They should it clearly it. everything <laughs> that comes to the news is like scripted. I mean, it, yeah. uh, all of these. Oh, and things. scripted yeah. to be exactly the opposite of whatever is actually oh, true. But here, so here's an interesting thing about the news right now. Uh, AOC is the perfect anti-Trump because Trump is, you know, everything that Trump is, and has this news outlet Fox that he has this weird symbiosis with. But AOC is all the opposite values of Trump that also has her own news outlet, which is the Young Turks that she has this weird symbiosis with. Are they really Turkish? No. <laughs> they have, they Actually, Jake, I'm going to issue it. They have nearly the viewership so, of, of Fox News. Yeah, yeah, they have an, an increasing viewership. But it's not. She's got, Fox News is the most watched thing on television. I mean, in, in all these things, AOC own is own growing own. while Donald Trump is... is she's winning. inescapable. I, I've done my best to and keep politics on my Twitter feed, and she's in there. Oh, Comtown likes her. Well, Stavros says he likes her. Wait, what? What? Stavros Alpheus says he likes her. Alexander. There's and no that. way. Yeah, he Well, does she have a fat dad? Yeah. 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 800 times? No, I don't think you <laughs> That's just, yeah, that's just sad. We really have to see her dad <laughs> to know if that's true or not. Oh my god, we have to stop. Okay, oh, yeah. hang on. Alright! Anyway. I mean, yeah, we can disprove it quickly. Let's back. talk about this execution. <laughs> yeah, this is a, this chapter's so Let's good. Let's not say that. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to come time. Y'all are terrible. <laughs> no, stop. They couldn't get like a five minutes into one of these things. Like, I was in a good podcast. I don't have come time. Is it good? Oh my god, there's not any fucking bell podcast. They come down. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's really good. I'm nervous. Can I try to come down in the office? No. Um, so do you have headphones? <laughs> I would wear headphones. Yeah. But don't get them unplugged. <laughs> well, apparently my coworkers can't hear when I'm listening to music. They can probably hear someone just laugh. And actually, I would have to because I would have to turn it off if I want to hear words. You were crying on my phone in my Yeah. Maybe we yeah. should. But somebody on my curious cat called me retarded for her. Why? I don't know. Because they. Well, because I didn't see the joke. Yeah. Well, did you even respect that book that much? It's a good book. Yeah, I like that book. Whoa. What's that down there? Oh my god! Are you worried about the on. tattoo or the thing that you threw that I like? Is that? <laughs> I was looking at the It's straight up! Ah, ah. 
I've been, I sweat too much to be around other people. You should that. You don't do it. It's weird. No, I'm talking about dripping off. Wait, let's talk about the book. Let's talk about the book. Yeah. You're not going to say the book. I'm lying. We need to talk about Ryan's book. She's like, look. Is that my what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say erection? No, no, impression! Oh, impression. I thought he said it. Impression! We've been here for two hours. Yeah, can we talk about it? Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, we have six. We're on chapter four. Oh, somebody's texting me, everybody. Okay. Okay. So, All right. Yeah, we can. Yeah. What do people want to say about marijuana? Oh, it's a, I love this chapter. I, I really, like, you get, like, Eusebia comes out like, ah, I killed her, I killed her, and then like is still screaming like, but maybe I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> well, she feels like she's like she's innocent. Like she's I just, just like talking. I don't like I yeah. really don't understand this chapter. Whoop, and no. I feel like this is the first time I read it where I didn't understand it. And I feel like I understood it every other so time. Well like so the there's like the gotcha and then there's like the like Eusebia gotcha and then there's like it's weird to it's weird to understand something twice and not understand it the third time and not understand why you don't understand. <laughs> Have you ever watched the movie Crime? Yeah. That's what I feel about that. Yeah, that would <laughs> the third one. That would actually yeah, that, that would makes sense. Similar. Yeah. Definitely. Wait, but what's confusing? So like because Was she innocent or guilty? Why so why does Asubia say that she is innocent and what what is the like gotcha like oh because she would have killed herself if she were guilty? Yes, that's what you said. That's what, like, Eusebia talks herself into saying. Like, Eusebia says, oh. she's innocent. I did it. I, like, she stole that dude from me. I fucking killed him and made it look like her. Yeah. And then she goes, yeah. and then she's like, well, but maybe I didn't. Like, because I, I think she's taking credit for some shit she wished happened, but that she actually didn't do. And then she starts thinking about it too much and goes, if more when I, like I didn't do it, but Morwenna couldn't have done it either because if she did, she would have killed herself. She right. wouldn't be getting executed right now. And then this whole business that concludes the chapter, where Severian's like, "Oh, uh, Morwenna had the poison in her in her hand and threw it in the bouquet," that's just Severian's theory, and he doesn't consider any other possible theory. So it's like that's we're left as that with that as the true story, but it it's totally ephemeral. It's it's you it's. Severian's first attempt at making it make sense, and he doesn't go any further once he has one attempt. Mm -hmm. So we don't know if she's innocent or guilty. I, I feel like the whole point of this episode is to talk about how justice uh, doesn't belong in the hands of common people, that they just can't handle it. It's too dumb. Or, I mean, like, once you well, get like to you a... Said, like people can't conceive of a class above their own. Right. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, and, 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 yeah, that's something that trauma has drilled into Severian's head his whole life. He's like, you, you don't get to judge. Yeah. Like, you, you carry out orders. And no, nobody can judge except for the author. And I, I feel like this chapter is an argument for why one must be a torturer in this society, which we all kind of are. Gotta have she, uh, Yeah. I mean, that she, is what Severian has told you. Even, like, assuming as someone who is, like, directly involved and would know if she had killed people or not, still doesn't even... She, she totally contradicts herself. Does not know if she's killed any of these people or not? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Wait, yeah. kind of? No, that, I mean, yeah, I feel like this whole thing makes it so impossible to know whether she's innocent or not that it's like an indictment of communal justice. Right. It's like the communal justice doesn't exist to prove the truth. It doesn't like, it's yeah. not this mechanism that keeps things right. It's a, a thing that keeps... It, it, it's not like for truth that it exists, it's for order that it exists. Ultimately, it's more of a performance. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah it's no, a show. I don't really well, yeah, it also yeah. mentioned the lottery and the thing about, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It works that way in real life, too. It's just on a, like, a grander scale, yeah. you know, if you're in Baltimore City. But, you, you know, you go to like a jury for, you know, or something like that. You go to a, like a trial and watch it. And what are you watching? You know, like, is the truth really at the heart of any of this? Yeah. Like, I mean, fucking going for theater. duty, dude, is so insanely steeped in seemingly yeah, unnecessary yeah, ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. It's like every turn of it is like, why are we, what is efficient about this fucking thing we're doing right yeah. now? Yeah, it's not just paid down compared to what happens in some other places. 
Yeah. I, I don't know if this is weird, but I got to the end of this chapter, I felt like that Wolf was making a very Sufi point, which is that like you can't escape from the world. Like you can't like if you if you find society to be unjust and immoral, you can't go be a hermit. Like that 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 doesn't get you out of the thing that's happening. And that actually like being a torturer and trying to be a good torturer, being the torturer that like hits her legs and chops her head off right away so that she doesn't have to endure the, the pain of the legs, like that's actually more of a moral choice than trying to flee from all this. That that was the thing I felt this time when I read it. Like which to me is interesting, but I think that I mean, I think that, that we're only using the word torture because it's very torture. I think that would work for whatever. He's an execution, though, yeah. I mean, he's well, and I think most of the jobs that you do in this country that are good, I think are this. I think they're in the same position. Okay. Like, no. you, like jobs that are nice and that provide like a comfortable life without a really stressful labor situation. Are jobs that don't really need to exist and require other people to be you doing mean, like money jobs. Yeah, okay. or, or like you're I mean, describing the real world. Yeah. Uh, well, yes. And why am I doing that? Uh, it, it, I, it was just an interesting observation. You were describing the real world because you were talking about uh, <clears throat> everybody being the, the only the only thing you can be in this world is torture. Or that you have to like you. Can, you can't deny that you're a torturer and get away from the torture. Right. Like it's better to like know that you're a torturer and try to do a good job as a torturer, which I feel like is a Sufi thing. It's like the Sufis say, like you can't go be a hermit in the woods. You got to do your real job in real life, or else you're not. What were the Nazi trials? Were they like the um, Nuremberg trials. Yeah, I kind of feel like they made similar arguments to what you're saying now. Like, <laughs> so you're following orders. Well, we yeah, a we we're just following orders, but b you know we wanted to be the people to do it so that you know like these individual officers so that we could see that it was yeah, yeah done like the Did right the way. Best, yeah, mm -hmm. They practices. actually tried yeah. that. Yeah, which um, who's the Aaron? If we didn't do it, someone else would have killed all those Jews. And, worse. And, uh, you, you you might like to read uh, Hannah Arendt, I think her name is, like this philosopher who is like really inspired. We all know yeah. you're going to talk about. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, she was saying that that's bullshit, and that you know you have you have to like make like a moral stance whether to participate in things or not. You know you are held accountable right. by, by existence but this for whether all, you participate. this all depends on where you draw a boundary. Yeah. And I feel like with Nazis, it's so easy to draw a boundary, and we love to draw sure. that boundary right, right, because right. it makes us feel like we're so far from that boundary that yeah. we're okay. It's the but, most extreme example. Yeah, but I, I mean, to live the way we live requires all the yes. injustice yeah. that yeah. goes with it. And so yeah. to, like, to enjoy any of the luxuries or like in the breathing right. room of right. our society, it yeah. can't be done without there being poor people like dodging right. drone bombs. It is known right, to right. us that those who will perish here are no more evil in your sight than we. Their hands run with blood, ours also. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah. Where is that? Where is that? Yeah. That it's in the it's uh, Yeah, it's in the execution. It's the first line probably? of the ritual. Like being a torturer who refuses to torture <laughs> is not really a more moral choice than being a torturer that does his job. Right. You're not really escaping from any of the problems, or like you're not washing your hands. Right. Your hands are still bloody. I mean, that's yeah, that's that's a complicated argument right there. Yeah. I mean, that's why I keep invoking the Sufis to be like, hey, Islam guys have my back on this. I, I <laughs> deal, ideally, all you think they're watching. Ideally, all people would not be torturers. That would be the ideal case. But since there are, is this bureaucracy and like right. groups like installed, you know, like there's a system where torturers are doing this work. Ideally, all those individuals would dismantle the torturing apparatus. Well, my question is, why you have to vote, right? <laughs> well, even if you vote, like for Pegasus, like Pegasus, Pegasus. Pegasus. They, they give you this brand of Pegasus. Oh. Yeah, but who counts the votes? Huh? Nuns? Nuns don't count the votes. <laughs> no. Angels? Angels don't count what? the votes. That's not the point. What? That's not the point. You just got to do it. 
You just got to do the best job you can be. You can do. And yeah. just voting oh, yeah. is an important part of yeah. being in a democratic society. I just love to stand in line. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Just yeah, you bring a book and get a lot of reading. I never stand in line at my pretty bell. I'm at the little, there's like a school, I think, at some public street. Let me ask you this. I asked for two cigars because I wanted to go to the towers of my dad. Well, well. And they denied me a second cigar. As well they should. This is America. One sticker each. One That's sticker, right. well, they, one vote, people one would, sticker. People would have thought you voted twice. Or people would have thought, or you could just keep it. Dead dog you know what? If you cut your head. fucking honest, I could have saved my stick from last year. <laughs> and put mine from this year. Oh, oh I was so hoping you were going to say, to be quite fucking honest, I did vote twice. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be good. For yeah, two yeah. opposing candidates. Yeah, I voted for both of them, <laughs> Trump <laughs> and Hillary. Trump doesn't count. That's <laughs> my... That's the only moral vote, really. Go for all of them. Everyone who's, who's running. No, it's not. No, it's not. We do not condone this idea. We will pack. I don't condone any morality. Next time, I will vote, but I'm going to X every box. I want all of them. Hey, buddy, I still eat your fucking stick on. And they did give me a stick on, but they gave me a mint. What? Who kind of needs any stick on? I don't like a fucking mint. In addition, just for the record, though, just oh, just for the record, though, that would not count as one vote for every candidate because they would. Be the ballot, right? yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it would be the moral thing to do. Oh, okay. The same as not voting. And you still get to stand in line. This kind of reminds me of like what he's talking about the sanguinary fields too. Yeah, you know, I was thinking that too. Like how the justice like kind of like works itself out better this way. Oh like, yeah. You know, you, you, have, you, you don't have yeah. Yeah. You know, it's another it's killer or, like, or whatever. In a murderous rage. You, know, you don't. Yeah. Put, yeah. That's like, an killing. amazing argument <laughs> that I totally disagree with. It's right? really I'm wild. And I'm like, this does make sense. It's just well, interesting. Yeah. That's like you so the monomachy occurs like within the. Province of the citadel, yeah, right? Like yeah, the, yeah. the like weight of tradition that, like of important, like kind of aristocratic tradition, like guides the monomachy. And now we're in a town far away, and like this is all about the fair. Yeah, this is like the merchants' yeah. situation where now you get like sort of game show justice. Yeah, because yeah. that like they're allow that, that allows them to throw a big party and sell a bunch of bullshit. Game yeah. show justice. That's what this is. <laughs> game show justice. That gives me an yeah. idea. It really does. Uh, yeah. Give me Rick Rory's song. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Also, incomprehensible to anyone that watches this episode of Tony Shisha. I draw an order to sexual harassment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Chapter five. Uh, Fucking Jonas's goddamn jokes. Yeah. Um, so five. I love Jonas. Yeah, Jonas kicks ass. Five is a B. Right? Yeah, there you go. Just like everyone know. And uh, da 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 dum. That, that's Morse code for B, uh, which is. No, 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 no. Holy shit. No shit. Yeah. All right. But Beethoven lived before Morse code was invented. <laughs> That's his fucking problem. Uh, how, how did this happen? How did this He's happen? He's not the one that went. Mr. Yeah, Morse right? was, was like, oh, oh, what? It was me. Yeah. No. He wrote symphonies when he was dead. Yeah. yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah, he's like, yeah, like, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I mean, like, no death, I guess you just do whatever the fuck you want. That's right. I mean, it turns out to be goddamn beautiful. That's one way to look at it. He's still no Chopin. Chopin didn't have to go deaf to be better than Beethoven, which I feel like makes so sense. What if he was in a time inconsistency? <laughs> he heard the memory of his own symphony. Yeah. And that's how he was able to write. Well, we have more maybe. No, but I mean, He's no, like, I'm saying. Oh, that is good. Well, you know, maybe Johnny Morse was like, you know what? I like this. Oh, Johnny Morse. I like this number five. <laughs> Johnny Morse. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Johnny Five is a lot. <laughs> 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 oh, Holy shit. Together. It's right. It's, 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 Having said that. And that's why. Give me Paul Westerbog. By Chapter Five, The Born. Let's get to it. The Born Identity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I felt like Jonas's first joke is the least. Makes the least sense the of any of them. Yeah, the mermaid thing. The, the, 
the mermaid and the octopus, I don't think, have any relationship to the thing he wants to say to the Varian that follows. I'm not impunging your skill quite yet. Because he's leaving and he's like, listen, that was great, but I gotta go. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to picture the thing where the, so the octopus has had sex with the mermaid. And then it's like, oh, whips, they just have jokes though. Like, you know. He's like, I'm not impugning your skill, quite the opposite, but, uh, what, what is that? But you look as if you, you, look as if you need you cheering up. Cheering up. Oh, okay. So I understand that, like, that oh. statement said to Zaveri makes complete sense, but it doesn't make sense between the octopus and the mermaid to me. Do you think it makes sense to Zaveri? I do think it makes sense to Zaveri. I think a lot of what Jonas says is just, like, weird robot humor. I feel like Jonas always, like, the thing that his, his joke, his fictional joke people say is the thing he wants to say, and that, like, this time it makes very little sense, but that is he goes on, like, I feel like the other times he does it in the sections we read, it, it tracks a little better. Wait, do you think that maybe this is a secret hint that he, like, has sense? Yes. <gasps> Wait, well, I think, I think the octopus and the mermaid has sense. Yes. The yeah. octopus is <gasps> tentacle to penises. He's saying, like, don't get me wrong, you did a good job, but it looks like it took a lot out of you. That's which is what he's saying to Severe. Mm -hmm. you, you, did a, you did a good job at the execution, but you're blue now. But with the octopus says it to the mermaid, it, it's rapey. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have you seen that famous Japanese porn pic? Stop! Well, have you not seen it? Yes, I have! And it's beautiful. And it's not beautiful! It's natural. Wow. Well, it's I, only natural. I think it depends on how roomy. <laughs> on how what? <laughs> on how roomy yeah, the situation is. Yeah. How roomy the situation is. <laughs> how roomy the situation is. <laughs> So like there's a new emoji that looks like this. It it's like the small dick emoji. And then like some weird No, it's a grain of rice. Oh. Or it could be pinching anything. Or like I crashed you. Why? So there's a new emoji that looks like this. And a bunch of people are like, this is the small dick emoji. And then some weird like alt-right woman was like, how would feminists feel if there was a roomy vagina? And Jordan <laughs> widely, widely <laughs> tweeted, I feel gay. <laughs> so roomy vagina is just a thing that we're yes. saying today. And then, and then that was Ryan brought in the, the roomy, the Sufi poet. Yeah, it's like, does your it. vagina whisper elegant Persian poetry to people <laughs> that she likes? Because then, yes, you have a roomy vagina. <laughs> that joke would kill a Hindus. It didn't require you to know Islamic it poetry. Would not, yeah, it does bring it back. Except for the Islamic poetry reference, that is a, a great joke for Hindus. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's how I evaluate. So anyway, what happens? You know what? Moving on. Yeah. What does happen? Oh, oh, oh! I love the fucking part. It's once. I'm sorry. It's no, once I'm again. Sorry. <laughs> this fucking line on two thirty nine. A purely mechanical psychological function. Yeah. Right. And then Severian's like, I thought that that sounds like an oxymoron to me. Or that's a paradox to me. Wait, that's wait, fucking awesome. Wait, did did Severian and Jonas fuck or not? Oh, did they? Did what? They, what? My opinion, they held each other. <laughs> okay. I mean, Jones well, doesn't need to fuck. They just held each other. Nobody needs he to likes, fuck. They he likes Jolenta. He yeah, likes Jolenta. Yeah, Jonas is all about Jolenta. Jonas is a horn dog. Yeah, but does he want to fuck or does he just want to, oh, like, uh, wait, adore? You, when you immediately are attracted to someone, that means you want to fuck them. But what, if you're a robot, though? He's I a robot. That's true. Might not be oh, true. I think you might just want to hold them. He might have a robot. He might have a human. I just that. want to give them a handkerchief. Nothing in my life is very Why are we even talking about this? What are you talking about? What? Nothing in my life is very Jack! Jack! Take it away! Why is that a conversation? <laughs> Whether or not Jonas and Severian fuck? Yeah. Because of the octopus and mermaid. The octopus. That's Sorry, what they're saying. I'm, 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 I'm with you. I don't think they fuck. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. I don't think they fuck. I'm being silly. I'm being silly. We're I don't even think time before we get to all kinds of interesting shit. I don't think, think, think Jonas wants to fuck Jolenta either. Though. I don't think they have forty-five minutes. I think he wants to love her. I don't think he wants to fuck her. No. Both exactly. things can be true. No, but what, what if you're a robot? Exactly. A robot doesn't want to fuck unless it's like programmed to want to. <laughs> you don't know what a robot wants. Have you seen the AI? Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. That robot doesn't have to do I'm just saying. We've been here for two 
two hours and a half, 45 minutes left, and we're halfway through this okay. session. You're, it's because Gene Wolfe is such a great, great, great writer. We're in Thank a you. <laughs> anomaly. We, we experienced oh, so, the later sections already. So does anyone want to like uh, revel in this about. phrase that purely mechanical psychological function is an oxymoron? That's so cool. Um, Why do you think it's cool? I don't think it's weird. Because, think because it's not it? obvious in our in our culture, it's not obvious that that's an oxymoron, but it so fucking is. Psyche, I agree. Psychological. The word psyche means soul. So, yeah. And, psycho, and also, like, good psychology is not a mechanistic. It's a complete opposite. It's, right. trying, to com it's trying to compensate for, like, the, the, the deficiencies of a mechanistic, like, outlook. Mm -hmm. And so to say a purely mechanical psychological function, that can slide in our society. People would understand what that meant. But I think Severian is being fucking, like, he's the wise fool in saying that that's an oxymoron because it really is. You can't no. be mechanical with a soul. But then he also says, but now I'm not so sure that he wasn't right by saying it. Yeah. I uh, also disagree that you can't be mechanical with a soul. I, I, I'm, souls aren't mechanical I in nature, but I, I, I do think, I mean, you haven't watched Battlestar Galactica, right? <laughs> I watched, I, I petered out when they were on, when it got Iraqi. Yeah, you fucking up, go through all the way. Right. All the way last season, man. Last There's, season gets I got weird. more to Last season's up. so fucking I have um, wonderful so news. Good. I have wonderful Blackjohn news. Okay. I recently got internet in my home. Oh, congratulations. So I will be watching the show. <laughs> 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 I intend to be in the Karen's house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that's definitely better than Battlestar Galactica. No, no shut yeah. up. Terrace House is amazing. Battlestar Galactica is also really they're both guys. I didn't tell you to begin with Taylor's house. Well, call us to order, Jen. You can switch on. Somebody has to take responsibility. I'm switching to Taylor's house. That is like Jen's house. New rule, we can't talk about Taylor's house. Okay. That's fair. Damn. All right. That's fair. It's fair. It It's super fair. Only three of us know. It's almost my birthday. It's not yet? It's almost my birthday. Which day? Well, you can talk about Terrence House on your birthday. Are we going to have a nice year birthday? It'll be February 13th. It'll be my birthday. Oh. Well, that's really soon. Your birthday is Friday the 13th. I was born on a Friday the 13th. Holy shit. With a full moon. Whoa. Wow. That's so cool. You're like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Thank you. Are you? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have a black cat. Oh, far out. Oh, my God. And he humped my arm. Yeah, you're so like. That's hot. I had to buy him sex toys. I had to buy my black cat sex toys. Did it work? I don't know yet. <laughs> Wouldn't that just make him hornier all the time? But, as the cat behaviorist told me, the idea is to reject him. Uh. Turn my arm to the toy. <laughs> He's, He's allowed, allowed to be horny. We are all allowed to be fucking horny. So true. But I have to redirect him. It just really seems like he could have both. <laughs> no, I need a toy. Why not? Well, you know, you have that sexy girl on your arm, so. No, he goes for this arm. What? He does not go for Petunia. He goes for this fucking arm. That's weird. That's, that's I got that's weird. Fun chilling about it. <laughs> Is it because I'm a dude that I think that the speed with which Severian drops everything to go to Thecla Thak is, is, is makes him sympathetic? Uh, I think it's a lot. Yeah, I do too. What? Why yeah. is he going? He talks later about how he, he noticed that there were lots of parts about yeah. the letter that like couldn't have been true. Yeah. Then he says, but like, you know, am I, am I like, yeah, because well, love, love clouds your vision. Yeah, yeah, he really wants you to think that love clouded his vision. But what is he doing? Do you think he might be trying to impress Thecla while he's writing this thing? Because she's in his head right now? I don't know that that's how it works. Oh, yeah, yeah, she knows. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That's true. Knows. That's true. Yeah. He knows he's he can't I impress her because she knows the truth. Yeah, I think if you have someone's mind in your mind, you're kind of like, yeah. When you have someone's mind. Yeah, sure. As one does. After you've eaten them. Right. Yeah. As one does. As we all do. From time to time. Wait. So what? What? So why do you think he's rushing right. to do it? If not because he's he loves that. Thing? I don't think he's rushing to do it. Yeah. It's yeah. one day. He gets back before anyone notices he's gone. He yeah, back. I think that he can ride out to this place at night, and, and I mean, it's just a little bit away from the village. It's, I think that I think that he's making it more rom yeah romantic. With how he's playing he up the romance. So what's he's the jerk himself up? sexy horse. So what's Thanks. his goal? It's Why does he go? <laughs> Why does he go unless he's blindly in love with Thecla? Why would he go? 
That's why you I think that he's blindly in love with Thecla, but I just don't think that it's quite like, and then I ripped my shirt off and burst out and jumped onto a man's horse without looking and spin off into the night. Do you, think, do you think that he always knew that it was Ajia? And then, like, in front of the minute he read the letter, he's like, oh, well, this is Ajia, so I'm just going to go out there and see what happens. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Right. Somehow, I will yeah. have sex tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, and then I, he doesn't. I always find his attraction to Ajia really weird and interesting. Because he, like, always talks about how she's not very good looking, but and, like, That's not really smart smart saying that always, and you know. stuff. Like, and, and we always love that we what we destroy. He's we like, destroy yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's that, but like, he's like, the way that he talks about her, and then he's always like, oh, I'm fucking Argio, man. Like, I guess it's like every woman he encounters, he's like, oh, and then she's like this. <laughs> but not like that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She like, was like so hot, but and not at all like is more that like her right. and this person, and this person is more like that, but like. Yeah, it might, it might just be that. Typical man. Like, every fucking woman is like... Well, even when she shows up again, he says something. Like, yeah. It's like Mason. Mason falls in love with every single woman. It's kind of <laughs> awesome. It's incomprehensible, but it's also kind of awesome. That he, like, legitimately falls in love with every single woman. Good for him! Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, not good for them, but you know, good for like, him. If you're going <laughs> to fall in love with somebody, if you're going to fall in love with anyone, you should probably Every woman. Yeah. yeah, here's here's what he says when, I, when he sees right. Aji again. He said, I had That's guessed earlier fun. that it was she. <laughs> so he, he definitely like had a hunch, at least, that it was her. It was yeah. going to be her. Um, but as she turned more swiftly than either of the men with her, I glimpsed her face in the moonlight. It was a terrible That's face fine. to me. Though for all of her se- though for all her self deprecation, so lovely. Yeah, he's always talking about how she's like horrible and like well, well, he said it was terrible because seeing it meant that Thecla was surely dead. But I mean, I don't know. He's got he's got to be more on top of that shit. I mean, he's dumb, but he's not that dumb, right? I don't think he's a dog though. Mm. I think that he <laughs> uh, fools himself. I think that he like doesn't want to own up to what's going on. But I don't think he's dumb. I think he knows what's going on mm. all the time. He's like He's very selective about how he talks about stuff and mm. like he if he was dumb he would be like I guess it's in his it's in his best interest to make himself look like this you know romantic hero. Yeah, this is a posterity. Well because he didn't do a stupid thing by going at all. So if he's like, Oh I didn't hey said Nathan think twice. I just went to go see my, my girl. Right. I wonder if like, I have a booty call. I wonder if like I don't know. I feel like I have a different perspective on this because uh, there's been multiple points in my life in which a major like decision has been made based on love, like a, a foolish sort sort of. As one does. Yeah. So I, I I I don't feel like there. I don't know. I didn't didn't feel like there was a whole lot of deception in this because I could relate to this idea. Like that's when you that's when you throw everything away. Is when you're just like, oh, I love this person. So that's what Samiri wants. He wants you to relate to it. He wants you to. To give him, like he succeeded. Y- yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He, he wants you to think more of him because of it, um, when maybe in reality he's not. You know, I don't think he even really loves Sekla. He's very yeah. image conscious with all of it. Yeah. Really, you, yeah, you think? No, I, mean, I think that it's a schoolboy thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a symbolic thing. Yeah. I think he has more real love for Dorcas, and he would never admit that. Yeah, and Definitely. I think that the, the the like actual deep love of his life we never get to see. Mm-hmm. Like that, he, and and I think that that's how we know that it's the deepest, most real love of his life. He can't talk because he doesn't write about that. Mm-hmm. Like that's for him. That's not for us. Mm-hmm. I am. Um, I have been taking note of how often he talks about kissing Sekla's breasts. Like <laughs> almost every time he mentioned Sekla, and he was like, and I and I kissed her breasts. <laughs> yeah, it's our boots, and then I put my face on them. They might maybe didn't do much more than that. Yeah, because he has talked about that. So he's mentioned it a minimum of five times throughout, like all of the books. That's crazy. A minimum. Up to the point that we read her in your in other, mine. In yeah. my like, he talks about it all the time. I like your tally. <laughs> you have this notebook full of tallies of how many times things are mentioned. I think it's not my place. It's it's like a 
you that need to thing. publish. You need to publish a book that's just a tally of how many times we've been. That should sit in this reading that we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is kissing breasts silly? No, it's cool. It's really good. Okay. I mean, you can do it in a silly way. I have. But like. Yeah, the motor right? There's so many different silly things you can do with breasts. That's a different podcast. But that would be great on But having said that. Oh, I like it episode. sometimes, okay? So, they like it every time. <laughs> That's the best time. <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. Shut up! Yes, he is. What? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. right. I feel like we should put a magic card on the cover for that. <laughs> 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 anyway, chapter six. Why are they glowing? You think they're glowing because like they're like uh, undersea creatures that just fall? Yeah. Right. It's not yeah. nuclear. Blue light. Could be. Because because he so kind of well they come the they clock. come and go a little bit don't they? I mean they they they're, he can see them as soon as they appear from far away because they're lit up. And then the claw like exacerbates, but they are lit. They yeah. are lit by themselves. But there's also the, the yeah. he, he implies that they evolved into that. Yeah, but he also says from contact with the ancient relics is uh-huh. also another reason why things uh-huh. below are different. Well, uh-huh. that's uh-huh. The, well, they're uh-huh. like the whatever the floaters are, like the weird stars in the air that are like those are far away apes glowing. Yeah, those oh, are you apes. Think that's it? Okay. Oh yeah, no, yeah. he's pretty yeah. explicit about it. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I've just he thinks they're yeah, stars. They show up in the distance on the other side of the cave. Yeah. Okay. And then they get and they look just like a field of stars, and then they right. get closer, and he realizes they're oh. people. Yeah, and then there's apes. hundreds on it. All right, well, I'm stupid. But thank you. Can we acknowledge that the picture of these guys on the the cover of the single issue of Cloud Conciliator sucks? Yes. Wait, yeah, can you show me that picture? I'm not, I don't have my picture. I think all of these illustrations I like this so one. I, I understand okay. everybody's yeah, problem with fine. the lining of his cape. I think that on its own, this picture looks cool. He looked, yeah, he looks cool. Like it never said it didn't right. look cool. Yeah, well, I think the rest of them don't even look cool. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the other ones are cheap. They're very bad. Oh, but the covers of Long Sun are so good. This is, yeah, pretty fucking goofy. They look like They look like Morlocks. Basically, which I guess is kind of what they are. This was my Facebook for a while, it's but now it's sexy. Cthulhu Lisa. It has been for like four years. Yeah. They're very bad. The, yeah, they're not good. They look like. Is the fight against like, the glowing apes? It's kind of Severian's first fair fight since since I mean yeah. I guess the only other like actual fair fight we ever seen was Vodalus versus people, and in that one, Severian <laughs> cheated. Yeah. He hit a guy that wasn't didn't know he was there from behind. This is the first bit of like adventure in the book, I yeah. feel like like suspense and fighting. A fight in a dungeon mode. Yeah, and this actually this reading, it reminded me of of all things, Lord of the Rings, this section <laughs> like really reminds me of like the, the oh, what do you call what where it's where the do orcs live? The minds of yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, well, I feel like him grabbing the claw in, on page two forty eight is exactly fucking Bilbo and like surrounded by goblins <laughs> yeah. in the mountain. Picking up the ring. Yeah, but, it's like exactly yeah, yeah. the but same fucking scene. Also in Lord of the Rings, where the orcs are like fighting, Fool, them, what, what scares off the orcs <laughs> is like the footsteps of the Balrog, right? And then the orcs are like, oh mm-hmm. shit, we're out yeah. of here. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The one. That's this chapter is J.R.R. Token as fuck. Yeah. It's a token. <laughs> J.R.R. Token. J.R.R. Token. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you know he was smoking that weed? No, no I, don't, I don't think he was. No, 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 no. yeah, you don't think J.R.R. Token was token? Definitely. No, no he, he was. was. He, he was. was. He yes. said Hefty Noir. Uh, he owned well, but I do uh, think he was. And I say maybe. Gene, smoke <laughs> some weed, man. I no, you can just take it just as little as No, no, smoke it, but and if you don't like it, just keep pushing through. You gotta get over the hump. <laughs> Next time you're in Baltimore, come to the Mercury Room and get the He said it was Baltimore. It's nice to our backdrop. He's like, he said that. He's a yeah. <laughs> We live in trash. <laughs> this is just <laughs> <laughs> it, it actually trash. looks dramatic and wonderful on the so YouTube. Yeah, the it, looks, looks nice. it, it looks like really crab. Nice. I like oh, it. Oh, awesome. The candles on the table. I'm Wembley. It's great. It's like It is. Oh, it's very like crab. I very, very nice fashion. fashion. <laughs> Uh, oh, so, so okay, so, so we're, in, we're still in chapter six. So, so we're, we're taking pretty much taking the eggs at face value. They're basically more rocks. They lived underground for thousands of years and evolved into the like. Uh, it's so fucking weird because then he has that conversation with Jonas, and be like, oh, but they're probably genetically engineered, right? Jonas is like, I don't know, maybe. Right. 
Yeah, they, they have been there. I've used maybe the autark, maybe they're like autarks tools to guard something. Or whatever. True, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. I think that it would be Typhon's tool. Yeah, but what about the, but what if the time? What the fuck are the timelines? No, 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 the, the Jonas, I think, Jonas and Severian at, at some point hypothetically consider <laughs> That they have been, in, that they, it's not a product of evolution, it's human intervention that made them like that. Right, in which case, I, I think it's Typhon who did all the genetic engineering. Or before. Yeah, but that's still not like, that's not like human evolution in the sense that it's like a time span. You're right, my, my point is with the amount of time, I think that they still might be a thousand years old, even if they're, you know, yeah, but if, yeah, right but if that was oh, okay, old, yeah, it's yeah, not, yeah, it's yeah. not, it's not, it's not, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Uh, well, but you know, another interesting, another interesting so thing about that is when, when, oh fuck, this might be in the one chapter two part two. Shit! You God damn it, you did it! Really it up up How dare you! <laughs> you were I you know that to be asked back! Oh, part of me one reason I didn't, I didn't do that is because I was like, actually intending to go way further and get into more of like what Jordan's doing. steps coming from below and he drops this like thing and he's like 
Um, it remind it you know sounded like it might have, might have been the walking of a tower on the final day, when it is said that all of the cities of Earth will stride forth to meet the dawn of the new sun. I love to think about so, it so much. So on this final day, what ideally happens is that the cities have feet, right, and that they like. All like that movie. They walk. Yeah, right, yeah. Where, what where? the fuck it movie? It came out the on Barry Lyndon Weekend in Mortal Engines. On oh. Barry Lyndon. Wait, when is Barry Lyndon? Barry Lyndon fucking Weekend. He <laughs> <laughs> explains nothing. He said the same words over again. That was lovely. It was, I confess, it was a tautological definition. But when they showed Barry Lyndon at the pub fight right, with the same weekend, the new Mortal Engines got. Uh, I never saw Which was like. Neil, you know what it is? Because I saw Barry Lyndon. Fucking A. We knew. The Mortal Engines. Actually, it's on my A novel. It was very cool. We all loved it. We loved it. We loved it. And that's about cities with like moving around. Yeah. And there's the. Is that cities that consume like. I've never heard of this. But it was. The Mortal Engines? Yeah. Nobody would have heard of it. They made so Barry Lyndon weekend. But yeah, anyway, right. you know, like, 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 I guess I was thinking. That's very That's very silly. Oh, okay. No, I don't like that. The cities are. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. No, you like that. I don't like that. Like, it could be. No, you're right. Don't like that. 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 Don't like and you know, the like the like the like the like the guy who's just just like him, who climbed up the roller coaster, let us down. Oh, wow. I know, Jerry. Robert De Niro? Yeah, Robert De Niro saved it from a roller coaster. I might have to leave. Sorry, you guys are fucking driving me. Hey, hey, isn't it funny in chapter six when he talks about the legs of the world? Gotta love it. I was just picturing a globe with two like spindly legs and little feet on it. What the fuck are the legs of the world? That's what, Tim and I just had a whole conversation about this while you guys were all yelling. Hey, I wasn't yelling. I couldn't hear you because they were yelling. Oh, so judgmental. You know what? Is it, is it possible that like uh, that the city of Nessus is a is a spaceship or is a ship in and of itself? Like yes. the whole city. Right. Yeah, the, my legs are sweating. Oh, thank you. And yes. the wall, <laughs> the wall around it could be like you know like the outer edges of the ship. <laughs> are you? What are you laughing? No, my legs are sweating. I just look at me and it makes me laugh. I made this idea, but I'm skeptical of it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they had that curtain wall, right? So they have their own wall. I mean, it's this enormous I think, wall. Well, I kind of think it's like a special area for spaceships. It they was. have their own wall. Nessus, right? Like, yeah. What's the curtain wall, you know? Yeah. And there's like the launch pads. Like and the Nessus the alleyway. Fun. This bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Like, so it is It is separated somehow, right? The, yeah. I mean, the wall separates. Yeah. I mean, it's a hard right. border. But the wall is also like full of stuff. Right, yeah. I keep in mind, like, there's all this, like, why, so why would they just be hanging out in there? They're, like, ready to go, is what I feel like, like, they're, like, inside. Well, they're, well, they're supposed to be there to fend off. Abea? Abea. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Speaking yeah. of, so this Erebus and Abea are things underwater, right? Yeah. So, well, wait. No, Erebus is not. Abaya is the water person. Okay, I don't think Erebus is necessarily a water person. What is Erebus? I thought they were, no, they say that they have, they have to be in the water. I think he's a cold person. Uh, Abaya has to be in the water. Yeah, I think you're conflating. I, I think you guys are conflating. Yeah. Er Erebus lives at the South Pole. Well, the reason I bring it up is because I was reading Homer yesterday. And wow! That's Which like where I'm at with it. Iliad or Odyssey. 
Uh, uh, Go on. I think this is from, well, I was actually reading Corinne when we talked about Homer. But I th he said this was from Iliad. I don't remember this being from Iliad. I think that's where he cited this. But there's a, there's a Araboia, who's the mother of two giants, Otos and Ephialtes. And uh, they are like these giants that are going to destroy Zeus. Like, uh, they're, if they, they're kids when they're killed. But if they don't, if, like Homer says, like if they had grown to full, uh, full maturity, they would have been completely unstoppable the, by the gods. The Titan. No, the, this is post Titans. This oh. is this is uh, Araboia's boys. Oh. Okay. They're called the Alo Aloadai because their father's name is Aloeus, which means round place or round disc. I don't know if that's <laughs> but anyway, the, the reason these two discs, the reason these two giants are famous is Only because you. they put Ares in a jaw. Like that's their claim to fame is that, like they're these like super badass giants, and while they're kids, and while Ares is also a kid, they put him in a jar, and he's in there for thirteen months until. Wait, that's one year. Yeah, and then and then not not, not if it's a lunar. Oh, no, I right, yeah, this is pre- Allow me to amend my yeah, statement. Sorry. And then, so, oh. so they put the god of war in a jar and keep him away, but then their mother betrays them and says, because all well, the gods are like, what the fuck has Ares been? Like, that, he's just a kid and he's been, in, like, we haven't seen him. So eventually the mother tells Hermes and Hermes goes and gets Ares out of the jar. And so her name is spelled E-R-I-B-O-I-A, which to me is like, Starts Erebus and ends up with Aya. Well, but Erebus is his own thing. Erebus is a place, right? No, no, no. I yes and no. It's, it's both. Just like yeah. Tartarus is a place in and a person. the guy. Yeah. Hades is a place in the guy. Mm. Well, uh, I, guess, I guess I thought... Like, and Erebus is mentioned as a place in here, too. Erebus. Yeah. Well, I guess the, the, this story fit in with me with the idea that the enemies of humanity are these like weird things underwater that control people by giving them thoughts. That, yeah, I, I, that I don't get yet. Yeah, they, Cthulhu. that's how they, yeah. yeah, which is Cthulhu, but which is also kind of like a myth about, it's kind of like a myth about sin. Like why are people bad? Well, they're bad because something old and that hates us, that is totally unlike us, and that is like submerged. But it's also new. Well, whispers to them. And it also makes sense, like if you think about the, like the Hobbesian, like we're by the too, like them being like these sort of like fictive ideas, but also really just like constant. Uh, well, this goes back to Samaria, where T Tiamat, who is the ocean, is the thing that's trying to destroy. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so I guess I thought it was the, the, the vast gulf of the unknown wants to kill us. Right. But but then also that like out of out of whatever out of that unknown, if there are these like more like. Concepts like the, like the idea is the thing that recruits Severian. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's not that he is necessarily like. I mean, obviously in the fiction and metaphorically, he's being reached out to by this being, but that being is representative of like the feeling and the concept that that draws him into this, um, you know, adventure. Mm -hmm. Fear of the unknown. Maybe. <laughs> the connection to me is really interesting because bottling up the god of war seems like a good thing for humanity, but ultimately it's a betrayal by the mother that ends that situation. So I feel like it casts the like underwater bad guys of this book in a neat light. I want to go back to the idea that bottling up the god, the, the god of war is a good thing for humanity because I really don't yeah, think that's at all. No, I don't. I don't think it's true either. But I think no. that people think it's true. I mean, I think our culture right. tries. Repression is not the answer. Yeah. No, no. But I think it's 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 our answer. It's the answer. It is the yeah. answer. Oh, the, the, it's the, the one we're trying. Like the, the reactionary like take yeah. on it would be like this is good. We'll just bottle it up and it'll be fine. No, yeah. we should just have scheduled wars where we know how many people will let die before the war's over. Like the Aztecs. Exactly. Yeah. The, the, uh, like. And, but that's not how our culture works. Our culture works by saying, like, by compartmentalizing war and saying we don't have we don't have a draft. Right. Like, no people don't have to think about war. Machines are doing it. So yeah, people we send robots to, to kill people that we won't yeah, see. we we're, we are yeah. bottling up Aries. That's exactly what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And that, like, 
in Greek mythology, you don't do that. You know, they're like their their system of belief told like teaches that by doing that you make things worse. Unless you're yeah. having sex with your girl and then you bottle them both up in public where everybody has to watch. Yeah, but that's yeah. temporary. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's, not, that's, not, <laughs> that's only temporary. It was never yeah, you just do it long enough to embarrass the shit out of them. Yeah. Well, well they, they don't stop. Know, these two suck. The thing is, they don't stop, which I feel like is sort of like Hephaestus ends up owning himself. <laughs> they keep yeah, and he's free. He owns himself. <laughs> Another dwarf. Another dwarf. He's not a dwarf. He's yeah, he's a hunchback in a club, but he's not a dwarf. Although he's you see the statue of Vulcan in Birmingham, he's a pretty dwarf. dwarf. He's totally a dwarf. I don't think that Birmingham is the end all be all of Greek mythology. It's a cool no stand. offense, it's a cool Birmingham. Stand. You sound like Ben. There's also a suburb. The suburb that Madison grew up in is named Vestavia Hills, which Vesta lives. It was founded by a pagan guy. Well, we can also as know. wonderful as those credentials are. Really? That's yeah. a Richard Gates guy. It is wow. a Richard Gates guy. Richard Gates. Oh, sorry. He's from that. Uh, I from don't that want to use that. He's a modernist fiction. Yeah. Well, he's my ex-husband. Whoa! <laughs> it doesn't matter. Literally? Sugar daddy. No, no. he died two years before I was born. <laughs> but I don't know. He's, 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 he's catfishing me from beyond the grave. Yeah, you're going to take more of this sort of Didn't that one of all this guy do a book called Richard? That's how I learned about Richard Gates. Yeah, that's how I learned about Richard Gates. Taolin, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I knew who it was. I can't speak to that. Yeah, right. it's probably Moving on. For the best. 15 minutes, 15 minutes left till book club's done. <laughs> Did you finish those drinks? Did you pay those tabs? Get out of here. Finish the Nudorino. Did Last anyone, call. Was anyone else struck by, on 248, um, this phrase, uh, oh, uh, this I have always felt was mine. I have counted all the life I have held since as pure profit, an undeserved mm -hmm, gift. Mm -hmm. Did anyone ring that ring? I just thought it was great, right? 248, it's like the third, fourth paragraph. That's cool. It was the way he's saying it, he should have died. He's, yeah, he's saying that. I don't think he died here. What, what, what is happening in this moment? Is this also the the he's, he's died, died, died before. No, he's in the. Like, this is him getting piled he on by apes. The... Oh. He's getting oh. piled on by apes in the water. They're beating him, they're drowning him. Yeah, that's funny because this is not a time that he dies. Yeah. He, yeah. he dies seven times. Okay, <laughs> this thing though, this. I've yeah, counted yeah, all. I have counted all the life I've held since as pure profit and undeserved gift is an evangelical trip. Uh, that is a thing that evangelical, like non-denominational Christians, that's like a very standard thing of the idea that like, I was just this dumb born sinner. Born again. Yeah, yeah. And born again people basically believe this about themselves. I like, mean, and to a degree, all Pauline Christianity, I would argue. Right, yeah, the truth. Like this is a Pauline concept that evangelicals take to a ridiculous extreme. Yeah. That's their thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, I, but it's there in, in, like, I think it's there in the Catholicism that Jean would be practicing, too. Hmm. I, to to yeah. a point. As a convert? Yeah. This idea. Yeah, as a convert, especially. Well, right, and, right. and the converts always go more psycho than the yeah, you born have Catholics, think, right? the, the, yeah. the cradle Catholics who are better than everyone. <laughs> Thank else. you. Who Thank you. Yes. I could find. But go on. Wait, have you ever been a Catholic? No. But yeah, that was the thing that I've had, like, when I was courted by evangelical elders, like, that was a thing that, that was a constant thing, it was like, it was like, my life was just kind of weird and chaos, and then when I realized that I needed to, like, like, understand what Jesus did for me, the rest of my life from that point on was supposed yeah. to be a thank you. It was like, I didn't deserve it. I should have died. And I find that to be annoying. It is annoying. It's, yeah. Yeah, my family it's is, over the top. My family are born again Christians. And, yeah. and it's like, well, what do I get to take credit for if he did all of this for me? You know? Oh. Yeah. Well, the, the idea is that you like the rest of your life is a, is a P.S. thank you to yeah, Jesus. Yeah. 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 You. Yeah, you do everything else yeah, with the idea I, of like, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. I, you know, I, I, I agree I've had to watch other <laughs> plays about how like people people like accepting Jesus right before they die and then they die in a horrific accident no, for some I, reason and then they're like now oh my god 
I had this terrible life and then I accepted Jesus right before I died and now I'm here in this beautiful heaven. Oh, that's that's very Catholic. I, I, yeah. love, I, I had to. You ever read those comics they send in the oh, mail? The you know, those chick -chick -chick shitty little oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. comic yeah. books. Chick Jacks are Catholic. Those are even. Those are even. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Chapter seven, yeah. six is Lovecraft. Uh, Has anybody yeah. read Wolf's Lovecraft story? The yeah. Unwanted Guest? No. 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 Check it out. Yeah. Was it an anthology? No, it's it's like a full length novel that's vaguely <laughs> like Oh, weird. Hey, chapter seven is if we're going there is when Gorillas Gorillas in a fucking steel building. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Assassin. Favorite part of the whole fucking five minutes. Really? Really? Just hearing about the Iron Palace. That part stuck in my mind. That part is fucked up. Like which part? Which part? Seven through two. It, when the girl is uh, tells Severian that he has to abuse the yeah. client. Yeah. And he's well, so, like, aren't like, you going to offer to do it for me? And he's like, I'll do it for you. Or, yeah. so he's, he's like, like, you can't. I got to do it. And, and I'll do it just fine. And he slays <laughs> Iron Big Oh, people. because yeah. he has a drinking problem. And then, no, man, he's a necrophile. But then no, it's later. I mean, he's a necrophile. No, I think Wait, why do you say that? He's, he's, he's a fucking he's necrophile. Why do you think he's a necrophile? Dude, he's definitely a necrophile. That's not an argument, and he's not an argument. Do you want fruit? Yes, I want fruit. Yeah, want fruit. Yeah, Motherfucker. <laughs> he has no problem the one time Severian sees him killing a girl that they have to, like, they have to fuck her before she dies, and she might die, so you gotta do it real quick. Gurlos is there for That's that. That's like the wall. Because he's a professional. Yeah. No, it's because he's Absolutely. a necrophile. We're not oh, boners here. No, That's why he has to be drunk. He hates that oh. he's doing it. He's got to be drunk. Yeah. Because he doesn't like fucking live girls. No, he doesn't like fucking dead girls. You know, he fucking loves fucking dead girls. I think he doesn't like fucking. Yeah. Like That's what he doesn't like fucking. Yeah, that, yeah, that's Very possibility. Yeah, that's that's possible. And he, yeah, he's but he's dead. got a raging boner for the and that's one that's okay. almost he dead. Does. Because he's that as his duty. He has a boner for his that's duty. That's not how you get boners. You don't get boners because it's your duty. <laughs> no. That's oh no my my duty. God. There has been several times when it was my duty to get a boner and it didn't happen. No. That's, that's I have to go. That's just a sign of our age. No, it's not age. It's not age. It's been constant throughout. Was it your duty to law and order? Oh my oh, god! god. I have to go home. It was my duty to everything to have a boner. There was nothing else for me to do in that moment except have a boner. And then what happened? That's I'm a different thing. That's a different thing. I'm not. A and then I made jokes like, "Oh, I didn't think yeah. I was a lesbian." Yeah. It's a different. Thing. <laughs> so I'm but you're not like light. third day. Like so we went to. No, that's like 26. I Getting and not, I, I read this and I thought it was very clear. Motherfucking no. girls can't get a boner unless the chick's dead. But she wasn't dead. She wasn't she's, dead. She's, she's close enough. Really not dead. She's close enough to dead that it's an emergency to fuck. That's not. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. That's a different thing. It's a very much living person. I'm thinking it's someone who's like they're so gone. That like we were like fuck 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 we gotta abuse her before she's no, dead because no, she's so unlawful. Yeah, it was just like, like, yeah, like, horny. No, didn't. Yes. that can't happen. I don't know. I don't know that you. that really was dude. To you. you get you get boners for the thing that does it for you, not for the thing that you're supposed to get boners for. Oh, I thought you only got boners when you're really afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into reading it. Like, yeah, like, why doesn't he get it? He's. Up? I, th I, I thought it was because he was kind of just like old. Yeah. I I really he's old. Old. He hates he's himself. He doesn't mixed. like what he does. Carlos hates that he's a torture. Yeah. My imaginary thought is that he's gay. How the fuck is he going to get a boner in like an extreme That's circumstance? Kind of, I mean, that was like. If he can't get it when it's you not an extreme what? circumstance, how's he going to get it when I've it is an extreme circumstance? I've never gotten a boner. Have you never been in an extreme circumstance? I've never gotten a boner. Oh, I know. I have never gotten a boner. It's a real, it's a big deal. I've never accused myself. It's not a big deal. It's not always a big deal. No, no, but, but the not it's getting it, not being able to get it when it's your duty to get it is a big fucking deal. Okay, how about this? How about this? this? this, this okay. I'm reading this now. I'm reading this now. I'm reading this now. Okay. And, yeah. and, and. Our resident boner. 
Uh, <laughs> as has been discussed in prior times here in this room, uh, obvious call Catholics pedophiles. Hey. Um, this, he's talking about uh, times when he hasn't been able to do it or whatever. And then he's, and then Severian says, Yet I saw him on another occasion. This is how he's how this is written. Yes, yes, yes. Yet I saw him on another occasion when the thing had to be done immediately for fear the order could not otherwise be carried out. Blah blah blah. My my point being, he's saying I saw him. Yeah, he saw the hard fucking dick of Gerlos. But right, Severus going in. I think that's a drug device. Say something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Severus is in the room. Yeah. A little boy is in the room. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Because they're being professional. This is part yeah, of their profession. It's I not about it. sex. It's not about sex. But you can. It is abuse. But no, you got yeah. Yes, yes, we can all make that face when we're sitting here in 2019 no, America. Saying, my point is, <laughs> my point is, my point is, my point is performing. The boy. The boy. That that makes, yeah. No, I don't think that's what he's doing. This thing you're talking about is not <laughs> realistic. We that is. That is I don't want it to be that. I don't want it to be that. Then you get pointing candles. But that is it. Like that at least like flies with real world experience. This idea that like it's my job to have a boner. No, what that having doesn't have anyone. Having said that, is some people's job have a boner and a gigolo. Yeah. It's all men's job to have a boner. It's not all men's job. It, it's your job to have a boner. It's not all men's job to have a boner. Not, not, who here has been a soldier? Nobody's been a soldier, right? It is not not in that law. Soldiers are trained to rape. It's not all men's job. Like, rape is part of war. Yeah. It's their job to rape. But how do you train someone to rape? Well, but it, rape, yeah, is not always, rape is not always about sex and being turned on. No, no, no. No, no. It's, rape is about the meaning. Rape is about the spoils of war. Agree. Okay, okay, I agree with that. I agree with that. But I feel like the capacity to get a boner in a situation in which the person is afraid is, like, not a universal uh, quality. That's no, maybe it's a quality of, like, gang members and soldiers and cops. But boners can be quite beautiful as well. Really depends on No, I'm sure that there's such there must there it necessarily must be such thing as a hate boner. Totally. Oh, yes. And I do not I, I do not think that this is about sex. I think this is about training a child how to defile other people because that's what his job is. Yeah. Yeah. But it is but then the subtext of that is, is that it is super fucked up. Yes. Definitely okay, fucked up. It is not bad to You can be child. It is child abuse. You can be Alright, I'll find Training a child to be a torturer definitely is abuse. child abuse. Abuse on many levels is happening here. Yeah. It's okay, but it's, if, if we can just assume that it's abuse. Alright, but let's, let's say it's possible, and I, I, I'm willing to concede that it's possible to train a child from a young age to get a boner for a fucked up thing. But Gerlos doesn't get a boner until it's like this weird life or death situation. Wouldn't yes. he have gotten that training? Like, shouldn't he be able to get a boner whenever he wants? But do you think Gerlo's the one who is constantly, like, goes up and talks to the faces in the tower and is yes. second guessing himself all the time and hates what he is? Yeah. That's why I think he can't get a boner. And that's why he's yeah, like, that is- aren't you going to offer to do it for me? No! I got to do it! I'm a man! So you're saying he has a boner in the this passage. Is like a very But he does perform in the in the passage that Jen read to yeah, two right. in Severian notes without, without without assistance. Without, yeah, without assistance. Without like he just he's the, gets because he's not trying to duck himself. It's just like you gotta do it. That's yeah. such a, so he can't. That is just not my experience with boners. Yeah. I mean, okay, well, or torture. But I think that's Severian's just uh, noted. Torture all the time. I think Severian's noted <laughs> that that's that <laughs> that's a physical way. You only torture people on Twitter. <laughs> no, 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 no. That, I that's how, I'm good at like torturing people on Twitter because I have experience torturing them physically. I apply the, the principles of physical torture to Twitter. That's why I'm like an exceptional I Twitter torturer. I think you would want to fuck with I would say that. Oh, that means a lot to me. <laughs> you, it actually does mean a lot. It really does, because she's really good at Twitter. It's my forte. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I gotta follow you. I don't really tweet. Do you have a Twitter? You gotta, I, you I gotta do. Oh, man. You gotta get on Wolfpack Yeah, Twitter. I gotta get on Wolfpack Twitter. There's a Wolfpack Twitter. There Wolfpack Twitter. What the fuck? No, we're all on Twitter. Oh, yeah, I'm, dude. I'm on Twitter. Right there, I'm like, the fuck? 
Oh, really? Exactly. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, really, and, and in totally different, oh, like, yeah. Sun and Moon, yeah. completely different ways. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's totally, well, I mean, it's, it's the only reason I'm still on tour. Yeah. Okay. Like, exactly. I would have been yeah. driven away by all the, like, like weird political like, angst. You're right, yeah. If it weren't for, like, people like them who are doing this whole other I'm thing. I'm my calendar. Like literary, like a literary thing, the character development, and like so, like I don't know, it's like kind of like a soap opera. What? Yeah. Like an hour before noon. Four o'clock. No, yeah. The wolf pack. The wolf pack. I mean, like, it's totally like it's like a sun and moon thing where you've got like this this weird like exuberant fountain of like positivity. Jen doesn't like to talk about Twitter. Yeah, I'm not sorry. You should have Twitter. You should join us. Yeah. We have cool. at What are you doing? You're on the Unblemished. Yeah, please. What's your, what's your Mine? <laughs> yeah. Um, W-H-O- C-I-D-A-L. <laughs> Alright, I didn't hear what. W-H-O-O. I believe Vidal. that spells Borbidal. Borbidal? Yeah. <laughs> With two O's? <laughs> two O's or one O? Um, Borbidal. Just like Borbidal. That's going to be my entire comparison. Who looks like who? Oh, I got you. Yeah. So last, you find it. Yeah. Minute yes. follow on of our. That's, that's true. We don't we started, do that. We we're not good at plugs. It's time to be done. All right. Well, and plugs. Put the club over. Plugs. We'll start at seven next time. In. We still gotta talk about the the iron. This thing. This fucking thing. So the iron Pringles can. Wait the. The bone dipped in gold? The, well, the apes do this, and then Severian oh, no. says, fucking like Gurlos does this, too. And she oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he he draws so attention to that. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. No, wait, is it Jonas? When Jonas gets the gold thing? That no, it's, it's when the first ape when he swears off. Damn! Tim, you'll find the account. Oh, okay. Wait, so I, I didn't even oh, follow yeah. on. I, I used to be a, I used to be a teacher, so that's why. Hey, anybody in Wolfpack who hasn't seen my play, I invite you to see my play tomorrow. <laughs> in a yeah. There's I'm only one who it. hasn't seen it. There's only one person in Wolfpack who hasn't seen it. It's Tim and Abby. I'm going to find your account now, and I'm going to There's only one person in Wolfpack who hasn't seen that play. I'm seeing it at 15. Oh. oh. Wait, where is Gord? I can't. Should I buy it from the advance, or do you think I can just show up? It's up to you. What do you think? You can fine. show up. It's what I think is up to you. I should buy it It's, it's okay. cheaper. Yeah. It's cheaper by a dollar if you buy it at the door. <laughs> okay, okay, well, that's, oh, wait. that's a weird uh, abrupt ending to this week's wolf pack. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll be back when? A couple of weeks from now? I. Yeah, when are we coming back? I'm going to be following you on You are? Oh, cool. Am oh, I following you? What's your response? So I very excited to see this one. Cool. That's the first play I ever worked on. What did you do? I was a stage manager. I'm a stage manager with this play. Also. Yeah, I'm following. Wait, which play? The play this Well, play. I posted oh, one, I do think Michael Malkoff. I will be oh, more attentive of my Twitter yeah. feed, because you you've music got music? some glowing accolades. We so. like to talk about... What did you think of the music? I love the music. Yeah! yeah. Are you, <laughs> are you into... <laughs> Yeah, are you into animals? What did you think yeah. about the timing um, of all the sound cues I heard? <laughs> <in there? laughs> Let me see how many. But no, I like I liked it very much. What did you think about how I forced all those people to play sixty characters in two hours? I have a tweet about how my cat is inspired me by an anime. Oh, far up! I love that. I gave up my little brother for that. Far up! She's the anime. You're the manga. When I heard that Evangelion was going to be on Netflix in March, I was like, "Is that right?" Can I read it? I think I can tweet about that. I think I can remember that it is a glove box. But, um, yes, you remember. I would love to read that. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Even though and it's I was about like, this is my favorite song. And then for a year, like, I would be like, I would be like, I would be like, I would listen to it. And then for a year, I was like, I should listen to the show. That's my 